One legend was given the gift of immortality. So what does Voodoo Ranger do with the endless time? Take on a life of adventure, full of risk and danger? Give love a chance, knowing it would only last a moment? Share the wealth of knowledge so that history doesn't repeat itself? No. Voodoo Ranger drinks beer. Voodoo Ranger IPA. Live rangerously. I think it's just that epic miniature. It's really doing a lot for me, too. Yeah, maybe. But he's also kinda... Silent! <clears throat> As I was saying, face the wrath of my metal army, crafted here in my Eldritch Foundry. Dude, where'd you get all these minis? <sighs> I'm subscribed to Eldritch Foundry's Eldritch Unlimited with unlimited STL downloads. Now, can we get back to... Eldritch Foundry's amazing! I never thought I'd have the perfect mini for my demon-born, half-elemental, catfolk, warlock, bard, multi-class with a bunny wizard familiar, but here she is. Thank you so much for printing her. Uh, yeah. Sure, Jen. No problem. Now face my wrath! This podcast features adults using adult language. You have been warned. Previously on Acquisitions Incorporated. I am the half-elf cleric, Omen Drawn, CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated. But the cleric of what? It's not 100% known. Basically the devil, Asmodeus. The deal that Asmodeus made with me was quite clear. If I didn't get on Team Satan, he was going to recruit Certainty instead. I play Omen Drawn's daughter, heiress to Ak Inc. Mm -hmm. uh, half elf, half avatar of Timora. Still a bard, but now a uh, wizard of the School of Divination. Oh. I play Evelyn Marthane, mm -hmm. who grew up in Waterdeep, becoming a paladin of Lathander, who she's super stoked about, would never change who she worships <laughs> at all. I'm Jim Dark Magic. I'm not their Jim Dark Magic. I'm Jim Dark Magic from Greyhawk. I don't know Omen. I have a successful yeah, not, show in Greyhawk. I'm exactly. doing quite well. I'm an entertainer. I, I'm not an adventurer. I was told this was an opportunity for my career. And so I'm, I'm along for the ride. Xavier, tell us about 
Bobby. Well, Bobby has obviously... A wish spell has brought the characters to the city of Greyhawk. There, they explored part of an effort to study an obelisk fragment retrieved from a dwarven mine. Armed with the belief that the obelisk might help them, A, undo the effects of the wish spell, and B, send them home, they made plans to set out for the Cairn Hills. We found a sparkling liquid dripping from the ceiling, which upon drinking, we found out, turned us into... Crystal people. Yeah, crystal people. So there was like a shark puppy thing down in the bottom of yeah. the light well, and it was clutching onto a chunk of obelisk. So we had the thing, and celebrations were had, and then poof, we weren't there anymore. We entered into like a, an evil bog that had like talking plants. We met someone named the Archivist. The issue with these rocks, these chunks of this evil obelisk, is that wherever they pop up, they allow impossible things to happen. God's dying. Hardcore shit can happen where these things are out. This cracked rock. Yeah, that are coming in. Yeah. Coming exactly. Not nobody. <laughs> so we have to get them and put them back together so that this corruption doesn't leak everywhere and make crazy shit happen all the time. So this archivist, his job is to take these chunks of impossibility and devour them. So Asmodeus is like, I need you to get rid of these impossibilities because one of those undoes all of my work. That's great news for me. The optimal scenario for me is that I can figure that out. I can make that impossible thing happen. I can extract myself from my service to Asmodeus, and then no one will know. After retrieving the chunk of obelisk from the bog, the party was once again teleported to parts unknown. We found a tomb where they bury dwarves and their weapons. A certainty, like, was cool to the person who was dead. And so the weapon came along. Bobby grabbed it. It's a big pick. Chippy. Chippy. And as we saw a room that had a bunch of dead dwarves in it, their brains had been taken out by a brain-collecting spider bug. Evelyn and Bobby beat the shit out out of it. Then we picked out the chunk that we needed, teleported. Chris said, you all get a long rest, and he left. Mm -hmm. Did he actually say he had a long rest? Well, actually, you won't be able to finish a short rest. Is that implication? <laughs> the snort, I mean. That's the implication. So we woke up. And we were in an elevator that once we got to the bottom, things were going to happen. Uh, you, Bobby used the pickaxe to break through the wall. We oh, beheld a beholder. Albert T. Oh, well, yeah. uh, big force field comes up. A gelatinous cube falls down. Bobby gets trapped in it. I did flavor the cube like cheese. Yeah. In the hope that Bobby <laughs> might eat his way out. Owen's trying to get this rock and an ogre sees him. In order to get the ogre to unfocus him. Reconsider his life choices. Certainly starts to taunt him about how small one of the pieces of his body is. Oh, no. Yeah, is your thingy small? Uh, Bobby decided to attack that part of his body. Oh, he's not. If you're gonna show your weak spot, we're gonna hit it. Yeah. And it ended up falling off of his body. Yeah. But Jim found a use for it. Magically picked it up and threw it into his face. Uh, like a bullet. For a lot of damage. Okay, that... Anyway, we get the stone out of there. But this time we're not lying, we really did have a long rest. We did. When the next chunk is touched, the party finds themselves in a bizarre demonic workshop. We summoned a vassal of Asmodeus himself, Lord Kamada. He spoke to us with his sock puppet hand and informed us of the treachery of Omen Drum. Ashamed of his own actions, <laughs> Omen split from the party and fled further into the workshop, but yeah. we were able to break through the door, rescue him. We found a gumball machine. <laughs> <laughs> the gumballs are able to grant certain spells and cure various status effects. And when Jim is later petrified, Omen speaks his feelings aloud. This would be a lot harder if you were awake. But everything has been so bad since you've been gone. <gasps> I wouldn't be able to say this to you if you could hear it. Maybe that's important. We've known each other since we were kids. I am from the future, but you're also from that future. And I thought this would be a chance for us to start over and maybe I could do it better but I've fucked it up already with the party cured the next chunk is touched and along their journey our heroes are subjected to magic hallucinations induced by a carnivorous lake but certainty's vision seems like more of a prophecy in a in reality, reality in which the evil one renounces his evil if you can find that impossibility and make it real held fall, and your, and your father, father will be free of his bond to the Lord of the Nine. 
After another chunk touch, we learn that the Greyhawk version of Omen struck a slightly different deal with the Demon Lord, involving a son named Bode. You are drawn through a red curtain, and then another red curtain, and then another one. The one thing our Lord asks is the soul of your son. He will continue his childhood as a normal boy, but when he comes of age, his soul will belong to Asmodeus. Elsewhere in the heart of hell, the broken obelisk allows Omen's impossible son to exist in a place where realities have worn thin. What is this Cambion in front of us? Cambion? <laughs> dude, that's the oldest school fucking shit, dude. I started with fucking fourth. What's a Cambion? I'd probably say it out loud. Cambion? The product of a fiend producing young with a filthy mortal. Oh! <laughs> Evelyn's mouth is like hanging open. Gross, Omen. You can't pretend not to know about these fragments of the obelisk. Of course I know about them. We're surrounded by impossibility here. I never had a chance to meet you, but I claim you. Yeah? I claim you, boy. He just sobs. No. Oh. And he falls forward yeah. into your arms. Yeah. They stole this from us. I don't know who they are, but we're going to find them. The archivist finally reveals themselves to be a form of Timora, patron goddess of adventurers and mother to certainty. The deity offers Omen a final chance at redemption. We will not allow you to disrupt the blood war and put the entire multiverse at risk. We are fascinated by the one possibility you dangled in this conversation. What if you could extract a piece of that impossibility? If you could extract a version of him that is himself more merciful, I will give you one month. If you are not able to solve it, I will come as the archivist and I will devour it. But if you figure out how to pluck out a shard of mercy, I shall bless it. Oh, we're gonna pluck it. Hell yeah, redeem us the day! <laughs> oh, no, bra. bra. I see you trying to cross hell. Hell will use every tool in its arsenal to stop you. The party is transported back to Vi's workshop and met by both Vi and the wizard Morden Kanan. We have been trying to pull you out there for days. Thank the gods, the stars, and the ground beneath my feet. And oh my goodness, do we have work to do. Welcome to Acquisitions Incorporated. Are you ready for a night of Dungeons and Dragons? Are you ready for an evening of devilish fun? Then you have come to the right place. I am Jeremy Crawford, playing the Dungeon Master this evening, as well as Asmodeus, Lord of the Nine. Joining me on stage this evening is our illustrious cast, starting with Omen Drawn, CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated, played by our very own Jerry Holkins. <laughs> Next up, we have Evelyn Marthane, the Paladin of Lathander, played by Anna Prosser. Woo! Yeah! Anna! Woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah! I love d, d We also have Certainty Drawn, a scion of Acquisitions Incorporated, played by Jasmine Goular. Woo! 
Thanks. <laughs> Returning to the Acquisitions Incorporated stage, we have Bobby Zimaruski, played by WWE superstar Xavier Woods. We also have another very special return to the stage tonight. Jim Dark Magic himself, the Greyhawk version, played by Mike Krahulik. And also, for the first time joining us, is Strix Gizix, the Greyhawk version of Strix, played by Holly Conrad. Where does your rod go? We need Rod Storage on stage. I know. We need Rod Stewart. Yeah. <laughs> Rod Stewart. <Sarlick. laughs> oh boy. I'm what could go up, wrong? Dude. That video cranked me up. Yeah. yeah. You had a month. Tamora, who toyed with you, but accompanied you, yeah. protected you, and in the end, blessed you. That if you could extract a shred of mercy from that impossibility that showed Asmodeus leaving hell and rising up to Mount Celestia, if you could extract just a little bit of mercy so that he would stay in the Nine Hells, holding back the abyss in the blood war, but be a more merciful devil. You've had one month to do that. Three weeks have now passed. Ah, <laughs> what? What were, Great. Here we go. What were we doing in <laughs> yeah. three weeks? Like getting our nails done? Like what? There, you also yes. had pedicures. Okay, <laughs> fair. So we, we look gotta, good. Yeah, we look so good. You I look assume good. we're close to a solution. You have accomplished several things in those three weeks. One, working with Vi in her lab, and also using the magic of Morden Cannon, one of the mightiest wizards in the multiverse. My dad. You have <laughs> succeeded at containing the reality warping obelisk within a containment device within the lab. And so, one piece of this puzzle has been solved. The obelisk is stabilized, and the impossibility that it contains the more merciful devil has also been safely contained for now in the basement of Vi's house. So we won. <laughs> Great job, guys. See you later. Have a good night. Bye. Thank you for coming out. <laughs> and we got a week left. Yeah. Vacation. Vacation. There is a big however. Oh. oh. God damn it. Uh, there's always a however. Using your magic, your know how, your ingenuity, Vi's magical technology, you have been unable to coax out of that impossibility that little shred of mercy that Timora has allowed you to coax out. And so, consulting with Morden Kanan, you have realized that you are going to need Asmodeus's true name. Oh. What? Jesus. <laughs> Easy. That so, it, so we lost. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook. You have Facebook. one week yeah. left. LinkedIn. Steal his identity. LinkedIn, yeah. And LinkedIn. so, yeah. in desperation, with the clock ticking, you have reached out to a group that is a master of keeping secrets and knowing where secrets are kept. The cult of Vecna. <laughs> <laughs> and... <laughs> Going to Morden Keenan's contact in that cult, you have met the Greyhawk version of Strix. Yay! Perfect. This is my hand. 
This is my hand. And so, you now find yourselves gathering at the location that the cult has pointed you to that is believed to contain an ancient tome that contains, of all things, the true names of the nine, the lords of the nine hells. Please place your miniatures on the lawn near this toppled spire as you gather outside this temple. I'm, I'm close, I'm trying. If you just want to put me between my dad's there. Yeah, a little, yeah. little chain going on. There we go, all right, nice. Teamwork. I got you there. We need one of those sticks for like war. Yeah. <laughs> we need a oh, croupier rod. Around. Yeah. If we could use the ruby rod of Asmodeus. <laughs> yeah. In the manner of a croupier. <laughs> Ew. I don't want that near me. They look so me. good. They look so wow. good. As you walk up to this ruined temple inside the city of Greyhawk, a place where Strix's cult believes that this book is contained. Omen, your stomach drops down to your shoes because you recognize this burned down place. No. 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 This is the temple of Bacab that you saw burn down and kill your daughter's certainty. Gay yes. treachery again, 2.0, the sequel. <laughs> Jeez. Are you cosplaying Asmodeus or are you? Yeah, are you Asmodeus IRL? Like, oh, hey. His true name is Jeremy. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we won. So we won. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Bye. We are yeah. killing yeah. it. You can go we home. are killing yeah. it. Yeah. That's, really that's fine. <laughs> I'm going to step away from the group just for a second. I don't... Where obviously, are you going? Obviously, morale in an organization is key. Um, and so I, I, I don't want them to see me sweat. I'm just going to look like I'm making an, uh, an architectural assessment of the building. Like, oh, see, this is the problem right here. Well, it looks Black like mold. this place got barbecued, huh? Yeah. Well, there was nobody inside. It burned it down. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I Am I right, right guys? Like, if he walks away, I'm like, Where's he, where, where are you going? What, what's I need you, Chuckle Fox, right here. <laughs> Like, this, is, this is serious. She doesn't mean it. She didn't mean to call you, Chuck. Oh, I mean it. What does that mean? <laughs> it's not a word Lathander likes. Yeah. It smells like ribs in here. <laughs> <laughs> Baby back ribs. Baby back fact. ribs? <laughs> We're all hungry. I am hungry. <laughs> We're all hungry, I understand. Okay, I absolutely. pull my singed cloak closer around me. I'm like, yeah, it does smell kind of familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I, say, I say, Strix, you are obviously the, the expert here. Um, we will follow your lead. I just yeah, I you should I, go in first. Uh, no, I just thought but, I saw a cool bug, and so I, I went over there. That's I understand. There's lots of cool bugs. I'm I'm going to be honest though. If we mess this up, you need to pretend that you like devils. Do you understand that? Especially you. Well, I like everyone. No, no, no. You don't like devils. I don't. <sighs> it's. You know, it's a, that's for you and Lathander to work out. Oh, you know Lathander. Strix loves Lathander. The other that's, Strix. That's good. I don't know her. You probably, yeah. <laughs> All I'm saying is if we're going in here, it needs to be correct. You need I, to, no, like, we have, so you have, we have to, like, As flex like we're pro-devil. We have to issue yes. a lot of pro-devil slogans. Yes. We got to so, wear, I have, like, a, a hoodie that says, go devils. <laughs> Should we go back? Do we need tails? I don't think that's, that's too far. Okay, all right, that's too that's much. Too that, now it's weird for the devils. Yeah, you can't wear the, own, the devil band shirt to the devil. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's weird. That's too weird. So, it's weird. Yeah, you can, understand. Can I religion check Bacab, what I know about like this temple and who would have worshipped here and what it might have been like inside? Religion check, very big for... <sighs> Eight. Oh. <laughs> Evelyn's religion checks always suck. Yeah, it's like, weird. I know. She just really likes Lathander. She specializes in one. Horses and Lathander. That's not, anyway. Eight. You, you think it must be the fact that this is a different world and a different timeline, that mm -hmm. you're not sure what Bacab is the god of? Probably devils. <laughs> Can I cast a portent? Absolutely. Okay. I've got a 15. Oh, that's, that's zesty. That's a one, but it didn't go inside the tray. It's, does it, I think that still counts. No. no. Only, only <laughs> in the tray. 
an 11. <laughs> so I have a 15 and an 11. <laughs> Do I see anything about what may transpire today? As your powers as a diviner reach out to the multiverse and turn to it for foresight, as before, when you were in those strange caverns with the dark obelisk, you have this sudden vision, and all of you see certainty suddenly shut her eyes and almost fall over. Does anyone do anything? Absolutely. Yeah, I go to catch her. Is she on a substance? My we can't have that here. <laughs> <laughs> I see falling over. I catch her so she doesn't hit the ground. Give me a dexterity saving throw. We can't wait to see I this. I think I, I would lunge at the same time. Can I give advantage? 16. Yes. Okay, he doesn't you, need it. You succeed at catching her right before she hits her skull <gasps> on the pavement. Oh, no. Wow. That would you. be the most embarrassing way to die in this campaign. <laughs> <laughs> you would have to like leave the fainted, table like yeah, right now. Like you your fainted dead. and hit your head. The end. The end. Most people die in the shower. So. <laughs> <laughs> I hate this. Like, it's not... Um, continue. Do not let me stop you. You, you <laughs> have, you have this smell of burning wood and flesh. As you find yourself standing inside the very temple that's in front of you, and you can see yourself up at the front of the temple, up near its altar with your arms outstretched, shielding several old women from the flames as they run out the back, and you feel yourself burning as your other self is burned alive. <gasps> I need you to make a wisdom saving throw as you experience this. No big deal. Yeah, it's fine. Just a Saturday. 16. You manage to resist most of the effects, but you so... Oof. <laughs> this <laughs> is not a good sound. Oh, horrible. <laughs> horrible. You, you take, even succeeding on, on the save, you take five psychic damage as... You remember I'm like level three. Right? <laughs> yes. Okay, I just wanna, yeah, I just wanna ask. Okay, okay, five psychic wow. damage. Cool, cool, cool. But in the process, you also okay. gain inspiration. Mm. Good as trade. You, Forged in fire. <laughs> as your other self is incinerated, the vision you inhales the smoke, but also some of the spirit of your other self, and you instantly have some of her knowledge. Whoa. Whoa. That's cool. You know, because of your amazing soothsayer powers, that... She came here often in devotion to Bakab, the god of knowledge and of wizardry. Mm. Hey, yo. And Some things stay the same as much as they change. <laughs> <clears throat> and you also know that this place was a repository of tremendous knowledge, not just a temple, but also an archive. And even as a little girl, you would come here sit on one of the chairs, and a number of the old men and old women who tended to this place would make sure you had snacks and bring you new books to read. And as the day stretched into night, they would put fresh candles next to you, which is why you now know that you sacrificed yourself to save them. Aww. Wow. For the snacks. Yeah. So we might be able to use you like a divining rod here to track down the best information, right? <laughs> Is that basically what he said? <laughs> should, I, should I stop playing the game? I, <laughs> I just got super excited. I, uh -huh. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay, well, okay. it's Yeah, do you tell us all this? You suddenly wake up. Oh. Come to. I got you, I'm shaking you. Hey, 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 hey. Bobby. You okay? No. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? You got your body temperature went crazy. What happened? I saw what happened. A 
I saw the past instead of the future. Bobby. <laughs> Every alternate reality version of me is more like badass than the last. I got a huge bar to live up to. <laughs> and every alternate reality version of my dad is worse somehow. Oh, that's, <laughs> oh no. That, that tracks though, How that tracks. How does yeah. this happen? Yeah. How does that happen? So, okay, so, so what happened right now? This is an archive. <gasps> this was a, a, pla a holy place, a place of learning, a place of, of is, is a repository of information. And, and the other version of me died saving the elders that took care of the children here. Did you die in the, uh, was it a fire? Yeah. Put your... So like, are your remains over there? Yeah. <laughs> no, Evelyn, when fire goes off, usually this is what's left. Well, there's, there's a skeleton. I mean, that could be, that I could mean, be you. Well, I guess those would probably be like a good like holy reliquary. Yeah. I, I wonder if we could like reanimate her and have her like do my homework for me. <laughs> yeah. You think you could do that, Uncle Jim? I could try. I mean, it's worth a shot. Listen, I if, feel like if, you if could. If dead you was in here, that's... I could fuck around with some bones. Listen, if I die, I want you to take my bones, take them to another version of me and have her do their homework because I'm okay with that. I wrote that down. Okay, thanks. Okay. <laughs> Tell the, the lawyer, the bird. Yeah, we'll sign it. My bird will come out and sign that. I'll make sure it's done. So you died in the fire, huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. All right, noted. Yeah. <laughs> so this do you, is, do you know confusing. where they keep the records then? Well, if I knew that, I would have said it, right? I don't, but it's probably in there. It's, it's like scary now, because it's like hollowed ground. Well, I didn't burn up in here. I, I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'll uh, go no, back. wait, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I, we had no, a no, plan. No, no, this is exactly yeah. how it should yeah. be. Yeah. We yeah. had a plan. <laughs> Why are we letting the stage wizard do this? I I'm just, just I follow Jim at for sure. the walls to see if it's written there, maybe. Stage wizard. Very good one, yes. <laughs> I mean, you were fine, but. So, Jim, as you just charge forward. I don't, I don't I wouldn't say I charge. I would say that I walked in. <laughs> More of a saunter. Warily. I, I'm gonna run after him because I'm like, stage I... wizard, this is not what I said. You... <laughs> All right, so Strix, you come running in after him. And as the two of you enter, as you cross the edge of the foundation onto it, it is like you passed through a membrane. And as soon as you cross over this magical membrane, you see this place is filled with people and noise. There is a Whoa. magical field over this, making it so that people out on the street and nearby can neither see that there are people in this ruin, ruin nor can they hear what wow. is going on here. Oh. And what you see as you come in is that it is not quite as ruined as it looked. For you see these braziers blazing and odd for a temple of Bacab. There is a summoning circle up near the altar. And you see, working around this large oh pit, these figures in red robes holding daggers and some holding shovels. Contractors? House slippers. <laughs> <laughs> As they try to dig, but you can see that this pit in the center of it is filled with sludge. And Jim, as each one plunges a shovel into the sludge and lifts up and it blops onto the ground, a reek hits you. You think they are digging into raw sewage. Ew. What? But wait, there's more. <laughs> What's the opposite of home improvement? Yeah. <laughs> Up on the altar, there is a young man tied up. And uh -oh. standing oh. on either side are two figures in red robes. And then red you robes. also see... <laughs> Standing on either side of the summoning circle, two figures who are in 
black robes very similar to the one I am wearing, and in fact have this exact symbol on the chest, which you recognize as the symbol of Asmodeus. And you hear, finally, before I will let you decide what you're suddenly <laughs> going to do, you hear this cultist yelling at the group around this open pit, dig faster. We know the book fell into the sewer. Yeah. <sighs> we must find it before they attempt to harm our Lord. Mm. Wait, who are you? <laughs> oh. Oh. We're the Lord Armors. Hail, uh, hail, hail Asmodeus. Hail, hail Asmodeus. We, we're here to, uh, we're here to, to meet with Savon. Yeah, we're here for Savon. We have uh, information as well as uh, maybe a bag of severed hands and other goodies. You got some severed stuff on me if you want some. I severed it. No, he did not. Oh, yes. We were expecting you, but not this one. Uh, well, there's a bit of an entourage for him. You see, he's, he's unfortunately famous. He's a, he's a show wizard. I'm a very good wizard. He's, I happen to do a show he's all right. that is on a stage, he's but fine. I'm capable of magic anywhere, really. I'd... Wait, do you do the show with the doves? It's that. That's, that you, yeah, that's, that's me. I, uh, this is a little embarrassing. Um, but yeah, no, that's, you got it in one. I've, I've seen it a few times. It's fine. <laughs> a few times. A few times. What else is there to do here? You know, burn down <laughs> orphanages. Tearing them down. Why? Are you very hostile. Uh, listen, <laughs> I just all I know is that I love devils, and and I heard that there were some here, and I'm ready to get down. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a charisma deception oh. check. <laughs> Except <laughs> this him. I've seen this moment, and it's a 15. Oh! Nice. I'll take a 15. Do I still get my plus two for charisma? Yeah. Then 17. Nice. Where the, where the devil's at? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you hear my voice in the back of your head going, I love that Jim Dark Magic experience. <laughs> well. I would have gone to the show a few more times if I knew you were one of <laughs> us. Right? Right? Now you know. Now you know. <laughs> Just job. hit him up. Good job, stage wizard. There are going to be some devils here in just a moment. Nice. We were about to sacrifice nice. that Savon you were talking oh, about. Oh, good. What no, did no, he do? No, that Savon looks not sacrificable. Now, the rest of you, Yes. what are you doing? I followed Jim I think that right they've away. been in there for a while now, mm -hmm. and I Correct feel him. like if we don't go over there, then when we do go in there, they're going to be on the ground yeah. in pools of their own blood. Mm -hmm. So, optimal play, I think, for us is to go in there. Yeah. I think right. Evelyn was standing behind them, this whole exchange, just going like this. <laughs> <laughs> Not saying anything. Oh, this is, is going to be amazing. But she, but she, as soon as they said they were sacrificing that person, she's like, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, no, sorry, she, she just makes noises. And if there's she any sort of boxes or anything, I'm behind Jim. Hey, got, got, got your stuff, boss. <laughs> I think uh, Strange is probably holding Bobby's hand, because she got, like, got burned. Got she's, like, a little scared. Mm -hmm. I'm holding a box in one hand. Uncertainty, the other. <laughs> Uncertainty, unfortunately for you, when Why you. Why did you say that? <laughs> when you step in, you cannot get the smell of smoke out oh, of your no. nose. You're possessed by it now. Yeah, I'm squeezing your hand harder. I love that smell. <laughs> Go ahead and give me a wisdom perception check, Certainty, as you, as you are puzzled by the smoke smell, but you see no source of smoke. Uh, it's only a 13. That is good enough. You see, lurking right behind this cultist, a shimmering shape that is you. <gasps> but what? no one else sees it. Only you do. I try to, like, lock eyes with her. Is she, like, what is she doing? She was looking toward this dig site. And the moment you sort of look intently at her, she looks and immediately turns around and goes
goes, floats over here with her back to you and just hovers in the corner. Oh, are you a ghost? Yeah, you're stuck here in the foundation, I think. Yikes. That sucks for you. <laughs> I mean, it sucks for her. It's yeah, great no, it's for me. Yeah, it's fine for you, yeah. <laughs> At this point, up on the altar, Savan says, may I have a last request? Uh, what do you want, you traitor? I, I, I'd like to whisper something to Strix. Oh, they don't know now. They know my name now. That's fine. <laughs> He's in a bad place. I, that's all right. What know. do you want to whisper to her? It, it, it's a secret. <laughs> it's a last request. You kind yeah. of gotta do yes. thing. Yes. Uh, very well. Uh, traitor. Uh, I'll just walk up to him. Uh, are you allowing this? Are we all right? Hail Asmodeus. Hail Asmodeus. Yeah, yeah. Great, 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 great job. Love that guy. Great job. Love Everyone's him. doing a great job. Hail Evander. What? <laughs> uh, I, you know, that's fine. Also, I still think that's a really bad sacrifice. I think you guys could do way better. I think that dishonors Ad Asmodeus. He's a traitor, though, did you hear? Oh, he yeah. tried to slow us down. He did what? Oh, no. no. I hate no. when people slow me down. That's, That's terrible. The brakes on. But, but wouldn't it be a better sacrifice to Asmodeus to sacrifice someone who was no, no. helping and fast because that would you know, be a harder sacrifice for you to let go of. And maybe you're just doing the easy thing and that won't please Asmodeus, I persuade you. Yeah. Is it really a sacrifice if it's somebody they wanted to kill anyway? Yeah, you were just gonna throw him away. Mm. Exactly, he's already dead, you, basically. Asmodeus doesn't want your trash. Where's the love of the hunt? Where, where, <laughs> where's the hunt? Know, you don't even know this guy. He seems, like a piece of, he seems like a piece of shit. He seems like a real asshole to me. I heard he was a traitor, I don't know. <laughs> From what I know, Traitor. You should see what he whispers to you, and maybe, maybe yeah. you'll know. Please excuse the stage wizard's entourage. Can I persuade them? Please yeah. give me a charisma <laughs> persuasion check. I sure love those. That's an Ak Ink symbol. That's a twenty. Oh my Whoa! god! <laughs> sure is. Wow. I was like, I was like, listen, this is what I was going to say before. I was going to be like, listen, I know it's off brand, but maybe we can do this without killing every motherfucker in the room. I'm waiting. I know, I said, I know, that, you, I know that dice is warm, but this 20, I think, opens up some doors. We had a plan. What was the plan? I to be I cool with that. demons. Yeah, I'm down. devils, not devils, demons. Not different. Demons. That's what he's doing. Different. He, said, he said demons are on the way. No, devils. It's different. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you like demons? No, 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 no. No, I no, hate no, no, them. No. Are there are there demons here? Oh, I'll we're, fight we're them. Out. We're out. Demons, no way. No way. Absolutely not. Demons killed my grandma. <laughs> I'll never, I'll never let that go. That sounds like a story. You are on to something. Thank you. Oh no. Sacrificing a person of so little value would be unworthy of our Lord. It's almost as though, like, the only worthy sacrifice would be, like, you yourself. Have you been playing Baldur's Gate 3? <laughs> <laughs> that doctor mission? You know, she's Nothing? playing a bard, you know. She's Nothing? playing a bard, that's why. Hey, my bard persuades like hell. I know, yeah. It was a nat 20. <laughs> it was. Just saying. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> Given that I am the chief priest here of the great Lord of the Nine, a Lord of order, mm. hierarchy, malevolence, Love it, all of it. And in a hierarchy, <laughs> the failures of those below belong to the one above. Mm. Hallelujah, mm -hmm. it's true. Mm. 
You have shown me what to do. You are a true follower of hell. c o f f e back. c o f f e back. c o f f e back. Be cool. Just Coffee be back. cool. For the greater good. <clears throat> greater good. She loves that. She's, you, you gave her a huge compliment. Yeah. She, she's, her, she, she's breathless. Yeah. I can tell she's choking in joy. Yeah. <laughs> really, she's holding back the impulse to go up to people and go, Hi, have you heard the good word of hell? <laughs> she says it every day. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Are you going to kill yourself? Or? <laughs> But, 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 I'm just telling, in, in Greyhawk, we say, we, we say that, I know in your world you say unalive, but here we, we say but, that. But, yeah. but, but what is death but a chance to find out what is next, be it a new dawn, or be it um, communing with Asmodeus himself? I will go meet him. Seat at the table. And he yells out, I come to you. And he steps <laughs> forward <laughs> in one motion, falls forward on his own dagger, and there is a burst of fire uh. here, and he is gone. <laughs> wow. No, 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 that's some role playing. <laughs> We're still here. We're still here. But. Because of you encouraging him to do that, this great green flame, green flame! Hell yeah. persists wow. and it begins to part like a curtain Uh-oh. and you can see into hell, a place that you have all been to before. Well, except for this gym. Right. That's where the summer place is, yeah. Mm-hmm. I go there sometimes. At this, Savan says, so can uh, someone untie me? Uh, I'll go untie him. And I'm just like, how did you mess up this bad? <laughs> Savan, uh, go ahead and rather than giving me a dexterity stealth check, Strix, I would like you to make a charisma stealth check to see if you can talk quietly enough <laughs> without the cultist hearing you. Okay. This is not Strix's best suit, even here. Ooh, that's a... Ooh, that's a... a two. <laughs> so, that's a four. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm really bad at keeping secrets. <laughs> They don't like me in this cult. <laughs> so it's loud. <laughs> Just so go ahead and say what you were going to say. <clears throat> How'd you mess up this bad? <laughs> We were supposed to be infiltrating the cult, and then you did it. Just... How, how is Beth not going to take anything over when this happens? I can't believe this. We're supposed to be going to Sigal. So at this, <laughs> this cultist right here, she says, wait, what? Infiltrate us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not what I said. I cast friends and go up to her and say, congratulations, you got punked on the new Jim Dark magic. We took the show off the of hey! We got you! We got We you! Got There's one. Right There's one. Yeah. You thought that that urn was an urn? It's a camera. You got that guy to kill himself. You guys. <laughs> Come oh on. Oh my god. You're so easy. Are we on the new witch stream? <laughs> you are. You're on witch. Yeah. Wow. Witch.tv. <laughs> does she get a saving throw? She does. It's a pretty cool intro. Remind though. me what Friends does. Um, I have advantage in all charisma checks. Uh, directed towards a creature of my choice that isn't hostile towards me. So go ahead and give me a charisma deception check with advantage because of you casting I'm really good at lying because I'm this one's kid. Yeah. <laughs> It's a genetic trait. So that's a dirty 20, a nice. filthy 20. Fil- filthy Nasty. dirty 20. Perverted 20. And then we're not going to talk about the second one. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't as good. I don't acknowledge her. We don't know her. Wait, we're on the witch channel? <laughs> Girl, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I told you, this is the Jim Dark Say hi. Week. Say hi, everybody, right now. They're wait, watching. Wait, 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 wait. She turns. This uh. is my good side. <laughs> 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 
Wait, this is supposed to be secret. Turn it off. Turn the cameras oh, off. No. So this right. episode doesn't air until next year. Not live. We're and good. we are going to need an NDA from you. Yes. I've got the paperwork. I'll, I'll, we'll have your lawyer look uh, over it. We'll yeah. sign it for you. We'll don't just, worry about yeah, it. Don't worry about it. While this is going on, I'm yeah. going to like, take Savon away. I'm like trying to take him away. Where, where in the temple space would you like to take him? Um, is there a dark corner? Just any <laughs> dark corner. Just Darkest so, corner you got. You see that there are these two upper areas as well as these corners near the stairs. All right, I'll take, I'll take these corners near the stairs. Those look like a dark, good dark corner. All right. You help Savan over here. You're so dumb. And you have no idea that you are standing right next to the ghost of certainty. No. Oh. I feel cold. I haunt this place. Yeah. In I'm fact, always cold. In it's fact, a cold you spot. Have... The EMF is going off. <laughs> <laughs> you, it's a have... you see your breath. I walked through something goopy. And it was some... how, did, how did you mess this up so bad? I had to keep slowing them down. You were taking so long getting here. You could tell me about it. Look at this. <laughs> My gesture. <laughs> As they're talking about the witch stream over there, I'm just like, are you seeing this? They're insane. <laughs> There's another sub, thank you. <laughs> what are they talking about? I, I, I had, trust me, it took a while. Why, why does Vecna want us to work with them? Yeah. Apparently, if, if As Asmodeus gets weak, then his plans can take form easier. So we want them to make yes. Asmodeus nice so yes. that we can beat him. Yes. I know we're whispering, <laughs> but I don't feel it's necessary. No one's around here. I mean, you know. <laughs> I know, but I feel like I'm being watched. Oh, probably. And he is actually <laughs> halfway standing yes. inside your ghost. <gasps> Does that mean I can hear them? Pardon? Does can that mean I can hear them? Go ahead. Weird. Give me a weird. wisdom <laughs> like insight that. check. <laughs> That's pervert shit. <laughs> I, I like it, it though. You're into it. No. Oh no, that's only a six. You cannot, but you do hear. You think for a moment there are like strange acoustics around you, mm -hmm. yeah. which makes no sense because there's no ceiling above you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sound bounces. All right. So, they almost found it. All right. But I got them to go dig in that place. They're digging in the wrong place. Yeah, that's gross. I know, it's filled with shit. I can tell. <laughs> Good job. It is funny. It is funny. Good job. It is funny. And so they're looking for a book called The Nine Portals of Helena Mathers the Sage. All right. It's filled with hogwash. The real one, I found out, in keeping with the work of our great lord. Yes. May the mysteries be kept forever. Uh, he's my dad, it's cool. I always forget that. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, should I, like, call you Princess Vecna? Please, no. Please, no. Hard pass. Hard pass on that. <laughs> no. Uh, no. Um, Lord's daughter works. That's pretty cool. So, in the upper, and he tries to be chill, pointing <laughs> at that upper library area over there. There is a book. I only got to start glimpsing at it, but it clear. It's clear that's where the codes are kept that will lead you to where the real book is. Excellent. It's it's a book called Lil Nick's. Infernal Tasties. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I right. wonder if it's encoded into recipes or something. All That's right. like Bobby coded, I feel like. <laughs> and it's all cheese. Look. You hear me sigh. You look, do hear. Uh. <laughs> look for the Asmodeus part. And the codes all seem to be linked to the commentators on each of the Lords of the Nine. Okay. I know you said commentators, but I thought common taters. <laughs> I heard and I was that like, too. Are we looking for potatoes? Regular old taters. <laughs> I'm here for it. Not unique ones. No. Common. common. Yeah. Not yeah. rare. That's great. That's gonna help. Um, mm -hmm. 
Uh, Please, while they're talking, someone roll a d6. Not sure. me. No yeah, problem. You should do it. I got oh. it. Why? <laughs> I just love How that. about the number of the fucking bees? Wow. wow. <laughs> Actually, that might be bad. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. Uh -oh. Okay. What yeah. is that face? It ended up being bad. <laughs> because you rolled a six, emerging from the portal of green flame. Ooh. Green flame is a barbed devil. Aww. Aww. Uh oh. Do you know this one? I don't know this guy. Well, so. <laughs> it could be the same one. It could be the out. same could, one. I don't think so. I don't have to get to I'll have to talk to Roll him. percentile dice. Roll a percentile dice. Oh, That's 2d6? No, 2d10. 2d10. Yeah, both of your d10s. There is a percentage or I also have a percentile. chance that, that this is too. the one you summoned. This one? Mm-hmm. 49? Mm-hmm. It is not the same. Oh, oh, man. We could have broke down been so with this cool. devil. I have no memory of this devil. And as it emerges, this cultist steps forward and whispers something to it. Can we hear it? Yeah. What is your passive perception? Super high. 11. 11. Mine's 13. Mine's 14 because wow. I'm very powerful. 12? Nope. None of those are high enough yeah. to hear what he whispers. And the barbed devil, hunched over, looks around and sniffs and looks at each of you sniffing and then looks over at the sewage opening and licks its lips. Oh. He thinks this is a, a dark buffet. Great. I mean, I'm glad I don't see this. As he looks around and looks down at the floor, as you all sort of track this horrific creature's gaze, you notice something on the floor that you understandably did not focus on when you stepped in and realized there were a bunch of hidden cultists in here. And that is, on every one of the stones on the floor, there is a carving. And every, it appears from your standpoints that every carving is unique. And they are all of tools for various crafts and fields of knowledge. So mm. one is a hammer, another one is a scroll, another one is a flask, another one is a rolling pin, and so on and so forth. And so as you look at the floor, it, it looks like this, uh, almost like a game yeah. of all Tiles. of these mm -hmm. different symbols around you. Yeah. I cast a message to my dad. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to receive. And I whisper it, and uh, I say it in your mind. And you can reply if you yeah. need to. I say, um, hey, Pop Pop. Yeah. Uh, I see me. Unless you're looking at a mirror, you're telling me something disturbing. I see, th I see the me that you watched die here. Where? And I'm going to look to the corner Strix is at. And I'm going to say, I think you should go to her. I think she's trying to help you. Um, I love you. Be, be safe. I, can she see you? Because that's a different situation. I think she can. OK, well, I'm going I'm to saunter over uh, to, uh, to new Strix, the taste of a new generation. <laughs> As you walk over, you hear me go, they're insane. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi. No, no, and, I, and I just, I'm happy. I say, yes, they are. They are. Present company excluded, of course. Oh, no, I'm totally off, like, off the rails. <laughs> Bad shit. Yeah, so much. I say, I need, I need you to scoot. Can you guys have this uh, top secret, although somehow fully audible conversation. Yes. Just slightly over here, right? You're standing in my daughter's ghost, and so I need oh, you to kind of... Oh, is that... Oh, is yeah. that... Oh, 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 yeah. gross. Oh. No, it's... You didn't know, and, oh, and I didn't so tell sorry. you, so, so it's sorry. like before, it's fine, but get the fuck so out of here. Yeah, she's, you know... <laughs> yeah. Also, yeah. you know, she's very talented. I love all of this, this spooky shit going on. Oh, it's great. no. Oh, yeah, it... it uh, 
Yeah, it's spooky school is pretty expensive. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's, I mean, that's fair. I'm, that's fair. I am utterly like financially, I am ruined. Yeah, don't, it's free here in Greyhawk. In really? Case. Yeah. <laughs> just so you know. Yeah. What about healthcare? Yeah, it's free too. Oh, nice. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, you know, colder climate. Am I from hell? <laughs> Maybe. I say, listen, so you guys go over there. I gotta talk to my daughter's ghost. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I step away, and, and Savon, I'm like, uh, you actually did a very good job. Um, good, good job. Uh, Hail Vecna or whatever. Hail my dad. Yeah, he's my dad, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Over here, she says, oh, was that part of the show? Yes! <laughs> what is this Vecna shit, she says. <laughs> Absolutely you know, not in here. It's, we couldn't afford some of the bigger names. We had to get some of the smaller ones. <laughs> we blew the budget on this guy. It's all licensing, yeah. You should see his writer. He. What, I, what I, gotta, I gotta have a cat to pet. That's important to me. And I gotta have uh, a lot of candy around. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you have any doves? I got a couple, yeah. Do you like doves? No, but I bet the Barb Devil would love to eat some. <laughs> You know what? I left them at home. <laughs> <laughs> They're in my other robes. They're in my other, yeah, my other wizard robes, so sorry about that. Is Jim lying? Yeah, he has doves. No, <laughs> <laughs> no this is so sad. I hate this. He's got heaps of He's doves. He's got tons of doves he has, all the time. He has two D10 doves. <laughs> Please make a charisma deception check. Oh, man. That's not, well, oh, plus two. Nine plus two is eleven. That's a shit. It's not a great roll. No doves in here. <laughs> Feathers just come out. <laughs> no, it's like it, 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 <laughs> it's my stomach. <laughs> I'm then, hungry. Then uh, why the feathers? I am stuffed. <laughs> that was part of his writer. Yeah. Yeah. So he I don't like to talk about it, but down, down. I am downy soft. Close. Anyway, <laughs> what are you guys digging for in this shithole? <laughs> <laughs> well, the book of true names, of course, to prevent our Lord's foes from getting it. Obviously, and we're sure it's down there. Yes, all indications that we had provided by Savan before we were about to kill him were that it's in that hole. Okay, okay. And as she says that, it starts to... <laughs> <laughs> she starts to put it together. <laughs> I just hear Vecna's my dad. <laughs> I'm, sure you're, I'm sure you're right. I, I heard he was a traitor. I don't know. I, yeah. One moment. <laughs> and she walks over here and she starts whispering <laughs> to, to the this, devil. <laughs> to, to this cultist and then to the devil. Yeah, okay. Well, it's been fun. We, it's time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you yeah. to warm that uh, D20 up, okay? Time to go, baby. Wait, uh, yeah. <laughs> What's the ghost telling you? It's yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, I am, I'm down. I'm, I'm just like trying to. Yes. Let Cheese Man beat that devil. Yeah, exactly. I see this happening, and I'm trying to listen in while I'm kind of getting ready. <laughs> and you should come out like, so what are you guys talking about? <laughs> I feel like it's about to go down, and I go, hey guys, how are you doing? I'm Bobby. Go ahead and give me a wisdom perception check. You're just starting you to hear are, the blood. Since you are intentionally trying to hear them now. Ten. <laughs> Plus. Plus uh, zero. Oh. <laughs> wisdom. You definitely hear some whispering. Okay. But you can't make out what it is, particularly because of the crackling of the green flame. Green flame! No. Uh, yeah, I mean, so you're, you're, you're going to get in the mix. I'm going to see what I can extract from this. I'm standing there just nodding, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Devils. Kind of hear them a little bit. Yeah, devils are great. Omen, you're over yeah, near yeah, the yeah, ghost. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, I mean, like, can I sense what she's talking about at all? Give me a wisdom insight check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have advantage, because this is your blood. Indeed. Ooh. All right, let's try this first. Uh, that was Jack. All right, that is 11 plus 5, or plus 4, so that's 15. And, oh. Hey, yeah. 
19. Nice. As you get close, and as Savan and Strix back away, suddenly the specter comes into view. Uh, almost as if a curtain were raised before you, and you can see the spirit hovering a few inches above the stone floor with her back to you. And you can see that on the floor, directly beneath her, her like symbol, her symbol, everywhere else, uh, there are symbols on the floor, and here, the symbol on the floor is a teddy bear. Aww. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna kneel down so that I'm down to her height, and I say, "That's who you become." Isn't that cool? <laughs> the. the Spirit pivots in the air and looks at you squinting as if you're out of focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I probably look to her like she looks to me. And then looks over toward you, Certainty. And are you still on the far side? Yeah. This time, actually lock locks eyes with you, and you can feel her presence trying to enter your mind. Really? Okay. Maybe this is bad. No. <laughs> I mean, I want you to think about every horror movie where there's a small child. Yeah. Has it ever gone well? But, and no, she's, she, this version is older than me. Oh, that's true. But she doesn't turn into this. She's fucking dead. She yeah, lives she, here she, now. She's, she's dead. You yeah. are not I, thinking she about this she correctly. Hangs out. In this I, place. I let her. Ooh, you let talk her? to me. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Talk to me. Yeah. Give me a wisdom saving throw. I have my dad's cloak, so I have a plus one on this, right? I'm also, gonna give you, I'm also gonna give you advantage on this. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, other dad. I oh, needed it. Oh shit. I and thank, it. thank the Lord. Yeah, I really. <clears throat> and not this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Now we're talking. Says so 13 plus 3 is 16, 17. As she probes your memories, you are unharmed by it. But there is a chill. It, it's like eating very cold ice cream too fast, and you can feel that it was about to hurt you, mm -hmm. but you resist it. And then the presence instantly leaves, and she looks down at you, Omen, and it's like her eyes come into focus. And you hear like a whisper on the breeze, and no one else can hear it except for certainty. As far as you are across this destroyed temple, you hear her say, Dad, so much better. Mm. And I'm okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then I can leave. And she bends forward. Do you let her approach you? I kiss her forehead. Even and though it's not there. And you feel what you, th as you approach, there's this chill in the air. But the moment your lips meet the outer outline, the threshold, yeah. the threshold of this force, it is warm, wow. like there's a living person there. I hope to see you again. Stranger things have happened. And she is gone. <clears throat> All right, yeah, I get up, do some uh, tear duct maintenance. <laughs> you lost Very... your ability to cry in the face. <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right. <laughs> oh, you, dude, you yeah. You sold it yeah. so I could have a teddy but bear. <laughs> but it's instinctive. It's instinctive. 
Um, Omen. Yeah, yeah. Basically, like I know that I know that Strix is going to have the the info that we need. I feel like the sooner we get out of here, the better, because it seems like there's a little convention happening here in the middle. You find you have a sense of resilience that you did not have before. You gained 20 temporary hit points. Oh, Holy crap! Whoa. Jumping, Jesus. Wow! That's, you have 21. Wow. I know, that's like <laughs> twice as much HP. Another that's omen. so much less squishy Yeah, it's than like another character. Um, like it's about to go down now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Speaking, <laughs> that's what yeah. worries me. Speaking of which, I think Evelyn had that same thought that it was mm -hmm. about to go down, and during this whole exchange, she went to one of the workers who was digging in the sewage who looked the most troubled and dejected and sad, and said, have you heard the good words of the <laughs> Well, no. So it's definitely about to go yeah. down. Yeah. No, no, no. no, no. Oh. But she, because Evelyn is known for giving hope to the hopeless and bringing people into the love of Lathander. Oh. So if somebody here was feeling dejected, put upon, then maybe they would have been persuaded to see the light, oh, and in case, your things, this is church. in case oh, things go down, yeah. would maybe want to fight with us instead of against us. And they have shovels. Yes. Like a covered, shovels. covered in shit. Yes, so, shitty shovels. So it's septic. <laughs> to, Sept. to see if you were able to discern correctly okay. which one is the most disgruntled currently in their job, Please give me a wisdom insight check. You couldn't just let me persuade. Except it's an 11. Yes. Because <laughs> I. 11 I, enough? Well, what's your modifier? My wisdom isn't great, I don't think. Hold on. What? Look. You're a paladin, aren't you? Plus supposed to one. Be... Never mind, it's not an 11. <laughs> I would roll that one Let's out. Let's roll instead. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Let's roll. Yeah, because I, I can do a lot of things for persuasion, but. All right. You also cut people bless in half it. routinely. I do. Please bless. Thank you. Oh, doing the Lathander. Good job. Not you. You don't bless. No. Ah, I should have taken the 11. Nine. But I can persuade even the one who's not the most dejected. <laughs> so now, I'm going to ask you to give me a charisma persuasion check against the one who may or may not be disgruntled, but and, Strix. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? I'm trying to take some on, and we're going to walk up. You're going to go, go upstairs and get oh, some yeah. products? Yes, to get the products and, and services for Vecna. So while these three are distracted whispering, Strix and Savan go up here. Evelyn, you're over here. Omen. Jim was over looking at that poop pit, too. Yep, you're with Evelyn. The shithole? The poop yeah, pit. The shithole. And up here, Strix, as you approach, you see this book that in the diorama is open. Mm. Um, you can see in its footer, where it shows the name of it, it is called Little Nick's Infernal Tasties. That's the one. And in the page, the, the, the two pages open, there is this gorgeous image Ooh. of... Dispater, one of the lords of the nine, wow, soaking in a hot tub, Ooh. wow, with rosy cheeks, fanfic, with yeah. sort of big chibi eyes. Right. Is they're, this a Geralt of Rivia situation? They're like, glistening. Like, they're glistening. Like, are the leg? I need all the details. <clears throat> and, and. Over on the facing page, so full page, is with this like blushing dispater in a hot tub. Uh, I need you to get me this fucking book. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, I don't think Tasty's meant what I thought it meant. <laughs> <laughs> They're talking about a different kind of cake. For a yeah. <laughs> I really wanted a cookbook. It's talking about a whole bakery. Mm -mm. And at the top of the other page, it says, for those who like bald tasties, dispater. All right. And then there is a full page of what looks like fanfic. We love a fanfic. This is hot stuff. <laughs> so we came here for. We have to find. We have to find the keys in this writing. 
we have to find the answers in this book. Do you need somebody to read it? Because I can definitely read it. <laughs> and I can, if you, if, if you don't like it, I can give it a really good, th I'll give She'll you notes. All night. I'll give you the Spark Notes version, I, the Cliff Notes version. I will take it. <laughs> and as you say this, I'm not there. That was me, Jasmine. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I kind of met a game. So I'm sorry for that. I got excited. Uh, sometimes OC, I'm the chat. Um, you know, yeah. sometimes I'm not at the table. I'm just them. Strix is just like, I feel the teenager will want this. <laughs> <laughs> that part. And as you scan this Dispater page, um, it, the fanfic is actually really sweet. Oh, it's like, it's like Sensitive. tender? Oh, Aww. sorry, sorry, Jasmine. <laughs> She's out. <laughs> and there is a quote down at the bottom, and Savan whispers to you, we need the Asmodeus one. All right, is it, you think it's alphabetical order? Fine. Fine, I just like try not to see anyone's like biddies. Like, I don't want to, you know. Evelyn, yeah. <laughs> make your check. Before I do, I'm going to take a, a silent moment of prayer and channel divinity with my uh, oath of redemption so that I can oh. use Emissary of Peace to have a plus five bonus to charisma persuasion checks for wow. the next 10 minutes. So just as a note, that means I have plus 10 to charisma. Wow. Jeez. I'm just letting you know. Just okay. letting you know. Plus 10 to persuasion. 17. Holy shit. 27. Okay. What's that do? Feeling it. He's killing it. You're getting married today. Praise La Pen! <laughs> so, this one looks at you, and he says, I was kind of enjoying this, but would Lathander tell me to swim in it? <laughs> if that would bring you joy and make you feel reborn like the light of a new day, then absolutely. <laughs> he jumps wrong. into it. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and at this, the head cultist over here says, that is enough of this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> and I need, I need you all to roll initiative. Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> When the DM's tired of us trying to set the scene. <laughs> all right, Evelyn. Four. I wasted all my good rolls, but that's fine. <laughs> Save the best for last. That's fine. Certainty. Good good Thirteen. Stuff. Omen. Eleven. Jim. Eighteen. Eighteen. Eight. Bobby. Sixteen. And Strix. Seven. All right. <laughs> nice. And let's see. Jim, what do you do? Uh, is someone a attacking? I, I, I was just talking to these guys about their shithole digging. Did something pop off all of a sudden? So these three, almost simultaneously, they begin twiddling their fingers, and reddish fire is starting to play over their hands. OK. Uh, I don't like that. Beat their that. ass, Uncle Jim. What? No one's hurt me yet. Um, I'm just gonna try to try to. I, I feel like the vibe got weird, and I'm gonna try <laughs> to bring it back with some hideous laughter. Uh, I would like to cast hideous laughter on the one that looks like he's getting ready to fuck me up with his red fingertips. All right. I think you have to make a saving throw. Yeah. Uh, what yeah, is wisdom 13. Wisdom 13. Except it's an 11. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I've decided that he finds this joke really funny. And that works. <laughs> nice, <dude. laughs> nice. I love being a divination nice. wizard. And so, Fly. And so this one uh, just starts belly laughing. Right. And much like my dad, I let him know, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of me. Yeah, of course, it's always is. Uh, at this point, these three cultists, not the one who's swimming right now, 
these three sort of put their hands on the wicked looking daggers that are at their waist, but they don't pull them yet. And they look up to their boss and, and one of them yells out, what do we do? And she yells out, kill them. <laughs> and so without hesitation, this one right here, Evelyn, tries to stab you. Tries. And tries. that is a 16 to hit. It does. It's so embarrassing. I'm a paladin, but it does hit. <laughs> you take four slashing damage. Ow! And then this one leaps forward. And uh -oh. as this other one leaps forward, the one down in the sewage says, what are you doing? She's awesome. <laughs> and, uh, misses with a six. Uh, this one runs over toward you, Jim, and slashes at you. No, no. And that's a 20 to hit. Oh, not a no. crit. Not a crit. It's a dirty 20. Yep. Just barely gets me. <laughs> you also take four slashing damage. OK. Bobby, Thanks. what yes. do you do? So those oh. two. No, actually. The one down in the sewage oh, yeah. also gets a turn. He pulls his oh, knife stiff. up out, now no. dripping no. with it, oh. and tries to stab <laughs> this one in the back who just hit evil. Oh, nice. Yep. Yep. Poison. Uh, and hits. Ew. Yuck. He's, he's going to have to make a constitution saving throw. Yeah. Yeah. I think we all are. That's like Oof. the hepatitis alphabet. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like you're done. They're you're so cooked. Sick. That's so alphabet sick. soup. <laughs> That's the mix. As you're done. Uh, this one um, yells out in pain, and it, there is now an ugly wound yeah. in their leg, and it is starting to like turn into this greenish color mm -hmm. very rapidly. Green wound. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, what do you do? Okay, so he stabbed him, and it was like, it wasn't a stab and leave, and it was a, like a shank, and so it's out. So they're lined up right in front of that pit, correct? Yes. So Ooh. I'm gonna charge with my Morning Star and attempt to hit the one in front so hard that he recoils into the one that just got stabbed, then knocks him back into that septic knife, <laughs> and everybody's taking damage. Hopefully Double not time. In. Two stabs. Nice. All right. And I'm rage. I'm rage. I'm rage. I'm rage. I'm rage. Yeah. Yeah. Rage. 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 I guess the dying of the light. Yeah. Just wax him. This is so. Give me a strength athletics check with advantage. Okay. Oh, that's good. Okay. Advantage is good. Ooh, I like the other one before. Yeah. Uh, so eight plus five, thirteen. And they got robes, it might not be a big deal. Yeah. yeah, they're like pretty much naked. Yeah, this, all right. So as you charge forward, this one just crumples under your charge, falls backward onto this one who falls mm -hmm. onto <laughs> mm -hmm. the knife. And mm -hmm. the poop knife. And the one who falls on the poop knife just dies. Yes. <laughs> And I, nice. as, as he dies, I say, I've been waiting since the second we walked in here to do something like that. <laughs> God, you're not even done, right? No, I'm staring at the other one now, too, just over his body. And the, the other one is unharmed, but prone on the ground. I'll take that. Certainty, what do you do? Okay. Get him. Watch With my bonus action, I give Jim my bardic inspiration as I prepare my attack. Now, when I first came to Greyhawk, my sending stone stopped working, so I turned it into... <laughs> what is this? It has a tiny goatee. <laughs> I turned it into the only thing that could bring me darkness, or bring me happiness, happiness? in a time of dark. <laughs> Thank you. So I give you my bardic inspiration, and then with my action, I watched him do this throughout the entire series. I catapult this shit. <laughs> at the leader, and I try to send her through the portal, and I say, welcome to the gym dark magic experience, bitch. Whoa! <laughs> Just smack him with it. I... 
am, Uncle Jim is incredibly proud. <laughs> incredibly proud. A little tear. It's beautiful. All right, so with Catapult, mm -hmm. uh, does she make a saving throw or are you making a roll to hit? Um, she makes a, wait, 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 let me see this. Uh, the object flies, you choose, okay, the creature must make a deck saving throw. And what's the DC? They have to beat a 13. She gets 13 exactly. Ah. And now your rock's in hell. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's not the first Why time. would you say yeah. that? Where, because where, it's awesome. Where does the rock go? Where I know that go? you're going to go get it. Where's the rock go? What happened to the rock? Where does the rock go? It's really not the first time you it's sent it. It's in hell. Yeah. <laughs> can you see it from the portal? Can you still see it? Or oh, yeah. It's just sitting okay. over there in hell. Can, okay. So in hell. Let's take it. I don't. That's a heavy ass rock. <laughs> That's a real rock. In hell, you can see it just sitting there on a pile of bones. Just this cute little gym Hi. rock. Do I still have my movement? It's it. it you can see it just beyond. I if can this, see it behind imagine the DM this screen. line right here <laughs> is the I, portal, and it's just right over here. <laughs> Look at this. Right over here. Just right hell. there. Oh. Do you see the glint in his eyes? Look at him. He's so happy. <laughs> God he damn it. it. <laughs> Van doors open. I got candy. <laughs> the hell van. Yeah. I'm going to wrestle with that, and that's my turn. You, know, you have movement, though, right? I do have movement. You have I, your movement for your I turn. I think I move up. And I'm like, I need to get my rock. <laughs> It fell in the neighbor's yard. <laughs> <laughs> so if anything, I tell my dad, Dad. I, I got it. Dad, can you get it? Dad, I'm scared the of them. Neighbor. Can you call them? I'm scared of them. Can you go over there and get me? They're a dog. really mean dog. It's the Sandlot. Yeah. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's the Andrew Joe. Three yeah. heads. <laughs> the barbed devil leaps forward like with its claws out straight at you, Bobby, and... What you want? Let's go. Come on. As it's coming to you through the air, its tail whips around at you. And I dodge. And that is a 20 to hit. You, I mean, yeah, that's fine. You take 10 piercing damage. <sighs> Whoa! Shit! Do I, do I though? Now remember you have resistance yes, because, because of uh, your rage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now here come its claws. Oh, oh there's more. Yeah, there's uh, Oh yeah, there's but more. But wait. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. That's a 24 to hit. And I guess. does a 12 hit? No. <laughs> so, the 24 from that you take 6 piercing damage as its claws sink into you. Okay, I'll do a 6. That's 6 is fine. <laughs> I'll allow it. But it's just three. No, but it's three. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> Omen, what do you do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of shit going on. Okay, we're done. Um, bye. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bye. Here. So the barb devil, the, the, the barb dibble, he, he jumped off. He's running over here. He's currently uh, penetrating the <laughs> ab. You don't have to say it like that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> There's something happening with these spikes. Okay. Um, and I am over in the corner, but I think that I have plenty of movement to step into hell and get this rock. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. You're such a badass. <laughs> this like, is... your dad's Vecna, but my dad is omen fucking drawn. <laughs> Omen fucking drawn, yeah. bitch! Yeah. So, I'm gonna walk up there and just scoop it up off this pile of bones. And I'm thinking, I really Easy hope peasy. that none of them go into the hell portal while I'm not looking. <laughs> You're like, listen, this, this is in inconceivable that anyone would, would even it attempt is. this. It is. It really is. Yeah, I just walk up, absolutely no problem, grab the rock, and I assume I just leave without incident. <laughs> <laughs> Not with that face. Uh, he's, been waiting, he's been waiting for you to finish that sentence. He's got some. Should I just grab that rock? Then? So, yeah. You do actually lean down and you pick up the rock. Perfect. <gasps> All right. Uh -oh. When you touch it, though. Okay. 
And <laughs> there you go. It's yours now. And then it eats you. <laughs> Fuck. As you step through, and you couldn't see it because. Oh, no. <laughs> No. Yeah, listen, I have 20 temporary hit points. I can't be killed, so... Uh... <laughs> no, I he didn't mean that, that, Jeremy. Just don't say no, anything. No, he didn't mean that. Just he didn't don't mean say that. anything at all. No. Just don't... Just don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Shut up. <laughs> everything no, he's standing fine. up, Jeremy, no. No. Oh, no, no. No, he's not. He's moving. No. 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 shit. No. No. Then sit I need back here. down, man. <laughs> and so as you step through... Oh, no, he lives here, doesn't he? Remember, a, <laughs> a portal is like a window. Yeah. And you step through, and as you pick up the rock and then turn back around, you see something that was impossible to see From on the material vintage. plane yeah. because it was on the other side of the portal. And seated on a throne being carried by four horned devils, two of the most, four of the most powerful oh. demons. Oh, I'm uh, familiar with the chief. I mean, rather, devils in hell, is Asmodeus himself. And as you look up at him, he goes, Oh. <gasps> I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Mm. Oh. No one would go in that portal. Mr. Stark, but Mr. Stark. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So the hit point, you're saying that the hit points aren't going to be an advantage in this case. Um, all right, here. He laid a trap. I am like, my palms are soaking ass wet. <laughs> Knees weak. Yeah. Mom's spaghetti. All right. Um, all right, here we go. Uh-oh. So are you... <laughs> Jeremy? I mean, obviously I want to thank Foam Brain for the new dice. Um, <laughs> Your dad's doing great. Your dad's doing great, honey. Omen fucking drawn! He's doing great. I'm just, he's doing great, honey. It's, Omen yeah. fucking drowns yeah. in his own blood. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, so, so yeah. And I, and I, I grab it. And it's like, I'm looking back, and I'm like looking out, like it's certainty, I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gone. <laughs> what was your total? It was, I rolled a one. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> and... What's that? I don't have inspiration. Does he have inspiration? <laughs> can I give him they my inspiration? They say you do when we're here for the people. <laughs> <laughs> they say I do. You can give it to I him. I give my dad my inspiration because it's my fucking rock. Here, here. <laughs> but it's like multi, but it's like multi planar. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, As that's Jim Rock is magic. not pleased, they can remind you <laughs> that <laughs> of Thank inspiration. You. No. Thank you. Thank you're you. Saving, you're Mother saving your rock. And you're wrong. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, motherfucker, if you think I can't roll two ones in a row, <laughs> I mean, you're wrong. You're just wrong. So, but I think it should definitely have snapped out. I mean, I still think that that's the awesome canonical version of events. But I will roll a, a one again, and, and then we can go on. Uh, plus four. Twenty. Whoa. <laughs> nice. That was the angry. That's the opposite. Yeah. A repugnant 20. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> no. no. Here. Can I snap? <laughs> you are taunting the literal Oh, no. <laughs> shit. You do take, however, 25 fire damage. <laughs> <laughs> and that's on the success. Deal. Wow. Oof. Good thing you had all those extra hit <laughs> points. Did I tell you I love you lately? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, but if that's how it can go, I mean, that's, that is the coolest moment ever. Through the portal certainty, mm -hmm. you see your father erupt in green flame. Green <gasps> flame! And the intensity is so great that you are sure it's going to kill him, but because of the temporary hit points you have, 
for a split second, and you are the only one who sees it, as Modeus doesn't even see it, you see the ghost of yourself oh, wrapping shit. herself around him. Shit. No. Yeah, that's too much. That's too much. <laughs> too much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is supposed to be a funny show. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I, I wouldn't do that for my dad. <laughs> <laughs> no way. No way. No. Mm -mm. Time slows just for a moment, as so often has happened when you talk to the Lord of the Nine. Omen Drav. There are laws in the multiverse that prevent beings of my kind from entering the material plane. Only you would be so bold, so arrogant, <laughs> to step into my realm. This is, I'm just loving this. I'm just having a good time. <laughs> I, I just want him to keep talking. <laughs> I will give you one last chance. In this moment between moments, to redeem yourself in my eyes, bow. Bow before my rod. Yo, pause. On both <laughs> knees. <laughs> With both hands. You know, these are just staying on now. I'm uncomfy. No, I, I say, I just came for this. And I'm going to walk back out the portal. <laughs> <laughs> this, I'm not even done. This is going to be sick. And Omens, on his turn, had enough movement to step <laughs> back out. <laughs> here, here. Now, Jeremy, you know what the best part is? Obviously, moving from the corner, Going in, grabbing the rock, that's my action. And, I, and talking to Dr. Hell. <laughs> that was your free object interaction. Oh. You still have your action, my friend. Oh, Hell holy crap. Yeah. So when I come out, this, yeah. this like head priest is like doubled over in the grips of a demonic laughter, right? Yes. I just go to fucking work on them. <laughs> like, uh, I, this is like a kid like on the pinata. <laughs> like, I beat this motherfucker till candy comes out. <laughs> <laughs> and he's prone, so that's not so good for him, right? So, what's the effect on this person who has uh, Tasha's hideous laughter? Oh, I can tell you about that. <laughs> A creature of your choice uh, falls into a fits of laughter if the spell affects it. The target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Uh, they're incapacitated and unable to stand up for the duration. A creature with an intelligence score of four or less is an effect. You've got advantage, yeah. my friend. So I walk, I walk out and just drop the, drop the rock. Actually, no, I'll just underhand the rock to certainty with my left hand. <laughs> and then the right hand, the maul comes out. <laughs> um, and I just start putting it down on this guy. I just start laying it down on him. This is all happening in slow motion, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank I'm literally... I'm also dun, dun, literally dun, dun, dun. smoking as I come yeah. out of this portal. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah it's gonna work. Yeah. Cool. Anyway, let's, let's see what we can do here. Uh, the first one's a 19. That is. Okay. Let's give you a 1d8 plus 2. Oh, fish. Yeah, great fish. Absolutely. Uh, that's worse. Um, but, I, but I love what I'm hearing. So here, let, let's, let's hit him up with a D8. Well, one, thanks, devil. Um, plus two. But here's the best part. As a war priest, I can use my bonus action to get another hit twice per day, twice per long rest. And I'm going to do that right now. Because if he's, if he's incapacitated, this is a high-value so action. So what, what was the total damage? It, uh, it wasn't great. It was three. Um, <laughs> Oh, actually, no, no, that's not three. What the fuck? What am I? That's the spell. That's even the wrong. F Sorry. Hang on a second. Let's do this again. Uh, five plus six, which is the number of the beast, plus two. So that's actually 13 is the, is the ante. 
Oh, to hit. Yeah, no, no, no. Thirteen is the damage. Oh, for the first. Yeah, one. yeah. Nineteen was was the was the oh. to hit roll. All right, yeah. That there you go. So that's the first one. And then here's the second one. Some candy comes out. Candy <laughs> comes out. Are we talking like Werther's or? Yeah, or like... Werther's Originals. Oh, here. Oh, uh, no, it's those, it's those uh, chalky. The oh, the, the mints. Uh, it's the mints candy. at the restaurant. Or the, the, the non-candy, the foam peanut of some peanuts. Mints. Now, 2d6 plus 2 damage. And Twizzlers. Gross. You already know what it is. Four. Two, I so said six, it. Yeah, I don't six, care. Fuck Twizzlers. <laughs> <laughs> and then eight damage. Red vines. Red vines. Oh yeah, I love red vines. You know what? Same. Eight damage on the back. Uh -oh, I come out up and I just standing up. Pulp them. I suspect. <laughs> I, so as as now some Werthers come out. Oh. <laughs> Is there anything in the? Rule book where if something happens that's that badass that all the enemies just turn and are amazed. <laughs> They're startled. Inspiration all around. Yeah. Because that was like a scene out of a movie, like a John Wick stuff. It I was feel like very that's cool. something that we would really become inspired by. Cool. All wow. of you, all of you have inspiration. Hey! <laughs> Woo! Omen Let's go! Omen Drop! Omen fucking Drop! Omen fucking Drop! Omen fucking Drop! All of you have inspiration. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like, wait, so collectively, or they each have it and they can give it to us? When they <laughs> have one and they have to share. Okay. I like to think that I'm not seeing this. Yeah. I'm looking at weird fan fiction. Yeah. I'm jealous. You're, you're in here. the you're library, here. dude. You are, you are getting us, you're actually going to win this for us. Yeah. We're just fucking around with these guys. You're, you're like, like elbow book. deep in peach. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's the book and you're just here, oh, oh, like, oh, my fucking drone, oh, my fucking drone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the cultist perishes. And as she does, the portal flickers. And these two look panicked. And they yell at each other almost in unison, concentrate! Oh, <gasps> see, they're working. Ooh. Team effort. Yeah, they need that catapult mm. rock. Okay. Now that I do here. Yes. <laughs> uh, and they spend their turn wiggling their fingers at the portal. And I need someone to roll a d6. I got this. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe not me this time. It's a three. A three. And so, what now pops through the oh. portal... We gotta close this door. ...is a yeah. winged, spined devil... Oh. ...that flies in right over and lands next to you, Omen. Great. But he sees how brolic Omen is, and he gets yeah. scared. Yeah, he, goes he knows right I'm back young. in the portal. Like He's super sane, not so. scared. Okay, never mind. Strix, what do you do? I, I can't believe these people. <laughs> this is absurd. <laughs> like going in the port, I just like turn around and go going in the portal, getting a rock. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Why are we doing this? Like, do you even play this game? I look at, I look at the guys twiddle, obviously keeping the portal open, and I cast magic missile on one. <laughs> oh yeah, the portal. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm like, I'm busy, but you know, it's fine. It's all right. It's okay. It'll be fine. <sighs> How much damage? Oh, all right. Let's let's do it. You gonna goose it? I hope not. Hold on. I can't see that well because, you know, I always do this to myself. Also, I'm level, wait, uh, four. four. Four damage. Let's see. And they succeed on their concentration check. <sighs> uh, but these two cultists look far weaker than the pinata who perished. Okay. Uh, and uh, this one looks like they are barely hanging on. <laughs> And as they take that damage, they, the portal flickers again. Could I do Quicken Spell and cast it again? Ooh. What? what? It, it would need to be a cantrip that you would now quicken. Oh, oh I guess I could, you know. Uh, I do. I have told the dead. Ooh. Yes. Quickly with the quicken. Then I will do that. Um, yeah. I'm going to do that. I'm going to cast told the dead. And said, if the target is missing any of their hit points, it instead takes 1d12 necrotic damage. Oh, shit. Oh, you just opened the, you just loosened the yeah. lid. I did. I did. I was like, oh, I got it. Ooh, the wound. I got it. Where's my 12? There we go. Uh, seven. Seven. I think that's a d12. 
Yeah, it says 1d12. Oh, no, no. Do you need to roll to hit? Oh, do I? I oh, do. She hits. She hits. Yeah. Why? I don't know. It's, yeah. it's a wisdom 12 saving throw. Wisdom 12. Yes, Thank sorry. You. They fail. Ha! Ha-ha! Okay. Okay. So what, did, what did you roll? Seven, Seven damage. Uh, they drop dead. Oh, as, shit. As you toll their death, and as they fall dead, the portal closes. Oh. Yay! Do it nonchalantly, too. I'm just like, eh. No, 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 but it's so, but it's, it's so baller, because you're like, you have the book in one hand, you're trying to read this dude with this important shit, you hit him, and they don't die, and then you just like, fucking die. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's because I saw a, a devil's biddies on the page and got upset about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. I'm like, ah, ah. Evelyn, what do you do? The, what's the situation with the sewage shoveling cultists over here? So one is lying on the ground at your feet, and the other one is standing there menacing you with this curved blade. Are they both alive? They are. And is the one that took Lathander into their soul still swimming happily? Uh-huh, and, and he's the one who helped you by stabbing yeah. his fellow cultist in the back. He's uh, at the ready with the knife, too. Yeah. You can use him. Okay, so I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at the ones who are right next to me, and I'm going to go, shh. And I'm going to cast sleep on them. Oh, nice. So I roll 5d8 to see how many hit points of creatures I can Jeez. hit. It's so good. So, will you guys count with me? One, four, plus five is nine, plus two is 11, plus four is 15, plus eight is 23. Wow. wow. Thank you. Oh, they're hosed. Yeah. So the two that that are against you and alive, they both go to sleep. Aww. Dream of Lathander. <laughs> so eepy. The one that's on the ground, is he laying like on the top of the, of the sewage? I was also wondering that, because like, what if you as just... a bonus action, I kind of just nudge one with my foot? Yeah. <laughs> just roll one in. <laughs> Sleepily sinks into so the garbage. The, so one of them is, is like right, saw, like right next to the opening. So do you want to just that, kinda... Well, let me think, because if we attack them, they wake up. Is that an attack? That's or? what I'm wondering. Is yeah, it they a will move? definitely wake up if you attack, but... What a nudge. If you, but a scooch? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they went to sleep. You scooch people to, to get to know more places. You scooch people all yeah. the time. I don't think yeah. a scooch is an attack. I don't think so, if yeah. If you were to haul off It's a reposition. Yeah. yeah. And I don't know if, like, a scooch is a bonus action or a free action. Yeah. I don't know. If, if anything, it's sleep. therapeutic. If, if you're trying to move a person, that would be an action. Yeah. Then I can't do that. It's up to you. Got it. Okay. We can just right. decapitate them too, yeah. I guess. Yeah. As a bonus want... action, I sing a Lathandarian hymn quietly in their ears. <laughs> and would you like to move anywhere? Mm. Yeah, I'll go. Um, I'll go over next to Omen since the, uh, That's the the rest of the sewer shovelers, right? Yeah. They're there's all a dead. There's a, a so, fresh demon. Yeah, as well. one is dead. Two are sleeping, and then your friend is soaking. Yeah. They're all set. They're good. I'm going to go over and help with more of the, the devil situation happening well, there, by Omen. In fact, there's a barb devil right here next to Bonnie. Well, I don't need to, like, go in melee range with that thing <laughs> yet. <laughs> so I'm just going to hang out where I am then. All right. Um, up here on the platform, um, Savan, who goes after Evelyn, uh, says, all right, uh, here, 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 here. And he points to the... Asmodeus pages. All right, I, I prepare myself to look at this. Yeah. So it looks like Asmodeus is as a resort and <laughs> is, is reclining on a chaise lounge with this really nice, like one Smoking of those- Smoking jacket? No, it's a, one of those poofy resort bathrobes. Jeremy oh, has yeah. thought yeah. about this. Nice. He yeah. knows. This is the calendar he's cooking up. Yeah. Yeah. And, and has a cocktail. Of course and has rosy cheeks uh -huh. and sort of sparkly eyes. Okay. I hate this. <laughs> and you can see, again, fanfic covering <sighs> the page, and then down at the bottom, there is uh, one of those quotes that you were seeing on the other pages. But yes. You'll have to wait uh. to uh, uh. take a look at it. Uh. Jim, what do you do? Oh. Uh, I'm going to cast Jim's magic missile. I'm going to try to put two into the, the devil in front of Bobby and one into the one by Omen, if I could. Uh, so I got a roll for him. I got plus five. 
So the first one is 8 plus 5? 13. 13? You have inspiration, too. Oh, yeah, I do have inspiration. But the 13 hit that first devil in front of Bob? No. Well, Here's let's try that again. That's a 1. Aww. All right. Next magic missile. I'm not going to say it. 9 I'm plus 5. No, don't say it. Don't I'm do not going to say it. 14. Jasmine, hold it in. Don't do it. Don't do it. On a one, if Jim's magic missile fails and it hits you, I've done this to you so many times. Why did you say it? Why did you I can't it? hold it in. I have to do it. It's not necessary. It's not necessary. Oh, yeah. It's inspiration. It's I, different. Is, is he using his inspiration or your inspiration? I didn't, but I didn't, use, I didn't use that die. That was like, I rolled it for inspiration, but I didn't yeah, use that it one. It didn't happen. Yeah. Sure. It's okay, Jasmine. <clears throat> I'm sorry, did a 14 hit? No, it didn't. <laughs> so the last, the last one is a 17 plus 5 into the one by Omen. That hits. That hits for an incredible 2d4. One plus one is two damage. Now, as a bonus action, though, I want to uh, put my hands on Bobby's back, because he's right in front of me, and cast uh, Dragon's Breath. So you feel, you feel a heat oh, yeah, in, the, yeah. in the tummy. Churn and up. And yeah, you yeah. know that you could unleash that for, for like 3d6. Oh, it's happening. If you just want to breathe some it's fire. Happening. I see that you have your own magic missile spell, and I'm so impressed. <coughs> I'm very impressed by this. Like, Strix is like, the, the stage wizard has his own spells. <laughs> it wasn't easy. It really is an impossibility. It took a long time, but yeah, I do have my own magic missile. Trademark Jim Dark Magic. Omen. Yes. Have the, me help. The winged spine devil right next to you now attacks. Oh, I can't wait. He, he did take two damage, Jeremy. <laughs> I just want to be sure that you... Okay. Noted. All right. He's still, he's still alive, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It misses with a six on its first attack. Yeah. And then it tries to bite you. Oh, Ow. and crits. Oh. You take 10 slashing damage. Yikes. Son of a beeswax. How many hit points do you have left? Wait, is he in, Six. he's not, oh, he's not next to me, is he? He is not. No. He's way over here. I told you to fight next to me. Yeah, next time. Bobby, what up. do you do? With my bonus action, I could attack and then do the breath, yes? Does it require his action or a bonus action to exhale? Uh, you touch one willing creature and power to spew magical energy from its mouth, provided it has one. You got a mouth. Yeah, you yeah. got a mouth. Uh, uh, creature can use an action. So it's your action. It's a 3d6 okay. hit and it's an it's area, right? 3d6 gotcha. and they have to make a dex saving throw of 13. Okay, so within my, the range of my wet mouth, I got the devil and then the two biddies on the ground. Yes. Okay. But if you attack them, they wake up. Yes. But it's but they're gonna be in fire. Covered, covered in fire, and they're kind of almost in the poop, so I feel like they're going to rise into the poop. <laughs> Could be. Classic. So, unfortunately... It's going to smell crazy in here. It is. That's what I'm going for. Yeah. It's about to smell crazy in here. Uh, oh, okay. So, <laughs> I... <laughs> and he's already hit me, so I'm locked in. I'm going to... Um, can I grab him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the the, we're the barbed in. devil... Yeah, is there any, any place where I'm not going to cut myself grabbing him? A lot of barbs. Or grab him by the barbs. A lot of barbs. It's it, not the smooth it devil. It is covered with barbs. Now, no, are any I'm, of these I'm barbs gonna, big enough to be considered spine? Yes. Uh, so, so <laughs> is, it, is it going to do anything is a bad barb, if I go ahead and just grab him by the head just to make sure and take, take a hit or two just to get him where I want him? You're looking for vibes. So... So if you want to grapple, that would be your action. Oh, okay. Let's just, let's, okay. Spit on him. I'm conjuring this fire. I'm feeling it. Great Muda <laughs> style. And I take the two fingers right here, and I put them on my neck, and I... <sighs> and burn everybody, including the poop. Including <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. indicts the poop hole. Yeah. And so what kind so of saving this throw do they do? It's a wow. dex saving deck throw, 13. Is sewage highly flammable? Yes. Yeah, I thought I believe so. <laughs> It's gonna be like a coal fire. All okay. right. It's it's never gonna stop. It's burning. never gonna stop. We didn't stop the fire. All that All right. methane. The 
the devil and two of the cultists, including your friend. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, this one over here, Unfortunate sacrifice. Asleep, gotta break a few eggs. Is yeah. not is not caught in the fire, but all three of them fail. How much damage is it? Three d six. Okay, count with me. One. Hey, hey, hey! You got two more dice. Plus. Two is three. <laughs> Shit. Is Plus. One is four. <laughs> what was it? Good job. This is my worst game. Uh, no. This is my worst game. So four. how much damage did you just deal? I did a whopping four fire. So yeah. they're burning. Yeah, it's fire, it's so hot. And they're probably weak to it because like they're naked. <clears throat> they're also devils. Interesting. Yeah. So uh, on a failed throw, they take half. So alright. The fire itself does not kill any of them. Not even the sleeping one. The sleeping one now wakes up. But what about the smell? <laughs> yeah. And the, and the shithole probably because explodes. The, the barbed devil, the horned devil, was so excited to eat that, and now I've cooked it for him. All right. So, <laughs> Evelyn, Bobby, and Jim. Oh, no. And also all three of those cultists and the devil. All get to make dexterity saving throws. I, for the explosion. In the back there of is a <laughs> sound as the open sewage explodes. I have never experienced more poop than in this game. No, this is it. This is the poop game. Dex saving throw? Yep. Don't forget you have inspiration. I have inspiration. So, no, 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 you, have, you, have, uh, you didn't use your bardic inspo, it's just a d6. Oh. You can add a 6. 13. Add a d6, yeah. Oh, well, that's not going to I don't know if that's going to save you, but it might. It's worth so a shot. So, does it, did any of you get 15 or higher? No. no. God, no. I got, I got 21. You got 21? I got 20. Hey. Like, I hit a nat 20. Oh, you got a nat 20. I got a nat 20. <laughs> oh, congratulations. <laughs> I didn't want to say it because I feel so bad. All right. So... Jim and Evelyn, you each take 16 fire damage. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head out. <laughs> and, go. and Bobby, you take eight. I still I got 21. I'm dead. <laughs> so you just like launched into the air? <laughs> yeah, I am so just obliterated. The, the two, actually all three of the cultists just die. Yeah. Uh, nice. The this barbed point. devil also fails at saving throw, uh, but is mostly okay. Uh, and as Jim falls to the ground, burning and <laughs> unconscious, there is suddenly a rumble. And opening next to Jim, there is this shimmering portal and Someone steps through. <gasps> and you see, stepping through, the wizard Mordenkainen. <laughs> My dad! Amazing. What? Incredible. What? My Daddy. son. He looks great. Yeah, the and Morning great. Kanan, you, you see at your feet the wizard you have looked after for so long, and he is on the verge of death. Go ahead and roll initiative. Wow. The Morning Kanan who has been helping you in this project with Vi. Do I recognize him when he comes to the portal? You do. Oh, I think everybody oh. recognizes him. I think his him. brand is big. It's, it's strong. Are you starstruck? Right. Uh, I mean, a little bit, but I, I kind of like look over and I'm like, I don't know, but it, this is a metaphor. I don't know if you know the exploding shit and the him. I'm just saying, <laughs> this might be a metaphor. I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah, so I am aware that you're in deep shit. Th thank you, see? <laughs> see? Oh, thank God he's thank here. You. Thank you. Thank <gasps> you. Dad? <laughs> it's crazy that you have a weird dad, too. I know, right? Morgan Kanan has two right. million followers. I rolled a dirty 20. <laughs> nice. You rolled what? 
I rolled a dirty 20. <laughs> Sean Connery. Great. It's, I know, it's a little, hmm. And mm. as, as you appear, and let's get your miniature out on. Where did I hide it from myself? Ah, ah. here you are, right sitting over next to you. And these are 10 foot squares. <laughs> <laughs> my, my friend, though, though both of our characters are from first edition D&D, in the present age of D&D, these are five foot squares. I love this. Feels a little snug. <laughs> <laughs> Those are D&D jokes. <laughs> Dude, this is beast. I love that oh, one. hello, Evelyn. You know me? You forgot me? Fast. <laughs> <laughs> but are you, are you our Murdy Curdy? Murdy Curdy? <laughs> Don't you, if, if you're my Murdy Curdy, you remember I called I'll you that. I'll be your Murdy Curdy if you be my Evie Weevee. <laughs> you old dog. Damn. Hey. Wow. You old dog. Randy. This is happening in the middle of this exploding garbage <laughs> fire. I'm Jim. still dead. Just... Jim, your Can dad has like W too? Riz, bro. Oh, I know. Yeah. He's a player, for sure. <laughs> His whiz goes crazy. Yeah. Dad is about to steal Omen's girlfriend. <laughs> he gets in drawers. What is with people's dads hitting on Evelyn? I'm legit sweating. He's Welcome like, to Ag person. Inc. It's the Hot Dad episode. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we got hot daddies. <laughs> <laughs> You're a hot dad. You're a hot dad. I'm about the to be your stepmom, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to call her mom. She's going to make you clean your room. No. <laughs> You're grounded. <laughs> All right, Morton Kanan, we'll have to wait until we get around to your turn. So next up is certainty. I'm supposed to follow that? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, there's a spine devil on my, on my like, yeah. close to my dad, right? Like, intimate. Spine devil here and a barbed devil over there. Yeah, what devil okay. you want? The devil I'm you know? I'm going to cast dissonant whispers on that one that's standing near my dad. And I'm just going to say... Pinata, <laughs> and it's gonna resonate. <laughs> Pinata, and he has to make a wisdom save. Fails with a four. So that's three d6 psychic damage, and he has to move uh, away from me, which will provoke an op attack from you, I believe. Ooh. Yes, my girl. He has to use his reaction to move as far as its speed allows away from you. Um, okay, so let me, let me. So that's six. The number of the nice. beast. At six. Oh, shit! Jeez. Wow! Oh. Are we oh. gonna get inspo? Trace. Trace. Number of the beast. Trace. Number of the beast. We're going to hell. Inspo. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Oh. It's a three. It's probably for yeah. the best. Yeah. <laughs> the we don't need that. that happening twice in our game. Yeah. yeah. We I got scared that. almost. Yeah. So that's 15 psychic damage, and he has to move away from me, and I'm here, so I believe that's like a straight line. So as it steps away, would yes. you like to bring out your pinata bat? It, it would be my, my, it would be my great pleasure. Uh, it's a, a trivial matter. How about a 21? You hit. Nice. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to bring this thing all the way down on him. Ah, okay. One plus <laughs> one. <laughs> um, That's two. Plus two. Four. Four club, baby. Boom. We'll catch you. Four club. We'll catch you. Put it down. Well, your daughter softened it up because yes. it had only three hit points left. <laughs> no, it's a full swing. Like, I aim for the fences. And it is destroyed. And as it falls to the ground, it, there is a cry as it disintegrates into brimstone. And there is this horrible whiff that for a moment is worse than the flaming shit. Wow. <laughs> but I, I gotta wink, I gotta wink at certainty. Just this thing bursts apart, just a quick wink, and then we're back in, we're back in the uh, business. I wink back and bonus action bardically inspire you. See, that's what I'm Ooh. talking about. That's how I get it. All right. And that's my turn. The it's barbed good devil turn. goes, and you just breathed in its face. I did, yeah. and, and killed my friend. Uh, does a 12 hit you? 
Uh, it does not, because I'm real strong. Yes! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the tail. Here comes the claws. Here come the claws. Uh, a natural one. Perfect. I like that. And yeah. a, whoa, what a bad turn for it. An 11 also misses. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the burning shit smell is distracting. I'll eat out here. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. You're dancing. Uh, Omen, what do you do? <sighs> we said we got rid of this demon. It, it mm -hmm. is now obliterated. And I'm, I'm trying to, in terms of targets, like who else is here? I mean, the big one is the. There's, you, you got a cultist. Cultist here and the barbed devil. And this barb devil, by the way, looks barely hurt. Okay. Wow. Then I, I'm gonna I'm gonna run. And this cultist is he still is he trying to get the portal started back up? I mean, this is one of the guys that was operating it, right? He is twiddling his fingers, and there it's 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 like these sparks going, almost like he's trying to jump start a car. Yeah. And, I'm gonna put a stop to that. And as it goes, you actually see behind you that it's like a seam in the air that is flashing, uh, and for just split seconds, you see little flashes of Absolutely. green flame. Green flame! Yeah. So I'm just gonna let, uh, I'm gonna let the maul, like the head of this two-handed maul drop behind me, and I'm going to drag it through the symbols of this summoning circle, and then I'm gonna end just by bringing it up underneath his chin. Ooh. That is a 21. Wow. That is a hit. All right. Now let's see if we can coax something larger than a one uh, out of this D6. Well, that's the number of the beast. There we go. Six, four, so uh, 10 plus two is 12. He falls over dead. <laughs> wow. And then, because I am a war priest, or a cleric of the war domain, that is just the first of my tricks. I'm gonna utilize my movement basically to get on the other side of this barbed devil, and I'm gonna put an attack uh, in the back of him as well. All right, ready? Here we go. Do it. That is the worst, but you would think... Now that's a seven, does that hit? You have... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it does not. Well, I would love to add the war god's uh, blessing that I have, which is Channel Divinity Guided Strike. How about a 17? Ooh. Does that hit? That Ooh. does indeed hit. Nice. Perfect. Let's get it. I'm saving that. I'm saving that inspiration for a special occasion. <laughs> All right. Uh, here we go. Why are you oh, I, I don't need to roll that. I already, I already won. I already won Dungeons and Dragons. Here. <laughs> ah, that's what I get. That's a one. And then a three. Hey, four. Mm -hmm. Plus two. Six. six. The number of the beast. Yeah, what six, was your total? Six damage. Six damage. It looks barely hurt. Oh, yeah. It's doing great. Really? Luckily, we got uh, the greatest wizard in the multiverse. That hasn't had their turn yet. Yeah, we have Jim Dark Magic. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah, I'm drooling in a puddle right now. I probably pissed myself. <laughs> yeah, you are actually dying. On yes, the I am. <laughs> All right, Strix, it's your turn. Would oh. you like to do something or look at the book? Uh, I feel, I mean, Mordenkainen's here. We're fine. I'm going to look at the book. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. I'm, I'm already in pain looking at this I book. I have to I'm ask, gonna... is Morty in this book? <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's a really good question. Is that why he's here? Infernal Tasties. He's like, here to get no. the book from us. Flip to, to the end. Flip to the end. He doesn't want us to get it. It's his only the Lord of the Nine. It's not, he's not involved. Yeah. Oh. yeah he's not a devil. It's a, I, good, good call, though. I, I mean, I'd be grossed out. We'll I find that. I don't want to see any, no one more biddies. Anyway, we'll find that book. <laughs> so, so, underneath the fanfic next mm -hmm. to Asmodeus at the resort. Right. There is, like on the other pages, this quote, and you're not sure where these quotes all come from. Uh, and this one says, to unlock the secret of Asmodeus, know that he is a delicious sum of ingredients, Ooh. aspects of all nine hells, and fully cooked forms of six vices. Pride, greed, 
wrath, envy, lust, and gluttony. One vice, sloth, never mars him, for he ever battles the abyss. Okay. Ugh. I mean, that, that part was beautiful. The fan fiction I could go without. And but. then underneath it, in the attribution for who wrote it, it says, Killian, keeper of the scissors. Scissors. Killian. Do I recognize this name? Give me an intelligence arcana check. Ugh, those are my favorite. I'm going to use my inspiration. <laughs> oh, that's much better. <laughs> 23. Ooh. All right, the DC for this one was 20. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. I Straight love those are reading shit. books that aren't fan fiction. Just kidding. Fan fiction is great. Big Keep writing numbers. it. Killian is the, is the name in some worlds given to one of the three fates. <gasps> the one who snips the, the thread of life. Oh my god. Interesting. They know the true names. Of course they do, right? They're the one that knows the true names. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. I, like, go to flip the table. I don't do it. I don't want to make a mess. No, no. But basically, Strix is, like, in a different show. <laughs> <laughs> like, and it's another good show. Like, it's a cool show where, like, they're figuring important shit out, and then it comes over here, and <laughs> there is <laughs> We're just some in the food. background, like, not in focus. Like, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I just look over and just hear, like, clown music. Yeah. It's yeah. like, <laughs> all right. Okay, back to, back to what I'm doing. <laughs> Anything else? That was your action. That's, yeah. You got uh, a, like, bonus action missile for us or something? I, I think my, I think, could I use uh, my bonus action to look back and see what's left, devil-wise? You like see the one. barbed devil, yeah, and despite yeah, all of the damage it's taken, it looks hardly hurt. Okay. Jeez. And the, the, sh the shithole's still burning? Yes. Okay. Um, I yell, push the devil in the shithole. Yeah, evil in your turn. <laughs> um, it's too strong. <laughs> I don't have super confidence in my ability to just shove something into the hole. Well, he's also you super should have yeah. super confidence, because yeah. you are a boss bitch. Aww. Yeah. Aww. Just do it. But it's buff as shit. But he's really also very spiky. Step on him. He'd probably be into it. He wanted to eat the shit. You're persuasive. So Strix told me to, and then Certainty said I could. Stomp and on him. That is all that Evelyn needs. So she's like flying as she usually does, and she'll just go, the line of Lathander compels you, and put one foot out and just like, <laughs> like lead <laughs> yeah. Just like yeah, Mortal dive Kombat kick into shit. it just to try to push him into the the flaming pool of poop. Lathander has some strange chants in your world. <laughs> Please give me a strength athletics check. Please. Everybody else roll for a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's going to be a 16. Uh, that hits. Hooray. It's hot. Do, so does he go toppling? Into the flaming abyss it goes. That's a sphincter now. Yeah. And... <laughs> We love a sphincter in this game. Cosmic. Oof. It takes 13 fire damage cool. as you push it in. I wink at Morden Kanan. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of Morden Kanan, by the way, uh, this thing, despite all this damage, despite being in burning poop, uh, I mean, it is taken at this point, I think, could over 50 damage. It looks like it has more than half of its hit points. Left. Just roll oh, off the lot. Okay. Morton Kanan, your turn. Oh, God. <laughs> I will pick Jim up off the floor like he weighs nothing. Oh. Aw. And I will hug him close to me. And then I'll look at the barbed devil and say, take five, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> and I will extend that remark out to anybody else who is our adversary and cast Mass Suggestion. Oh. Mass Suggestion. Right. His name's Brad? He's yeah. treating it like a set <laughs> for Jim. And what is, and you just wanted to chill? Yes. 
Uh, all right, what's the DC for? 21. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing Morty. They're all like, thank you, five, thank you, five. Yeah. It, it gets, a, gets a 10. <laughs> and as if it were in the hot tub oh. in your book, <laughs> that oh, this no. painter was in, the barb devil oh. just sort of leans back oh. and goes, and you hear this in your minds because it communicates telepathically. And you just hear, I love it. <laughs> As it just sits there and burns alive. <laughs> Jeez. That's, that's horror. Uh, but that's that's, that's wizards, magic. Right? That's a 20th level wizard, by yeah. the way. Yeah. yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, and then I'll just say to everybody else, come with me if you want to live. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's jump straight through. That's your fucking dad. He's holding me, yeah. So you are now out of initiative unless you want to keep fighting the barbed devil. But what is the duration on that mass suggestion? That is a fine, fine question. Ten years. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Yeah, yeah, get out of the way. I love this tool. It's great. It's never been easier. 24 hours. <laughs> wow. <What? laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. It's not. It's dead. So. A uh, day. It's dead. You are welcome to keep fighting it or just... Although, technically, the suggestion will end after five minutes, because I said... He yeah, but, but you did that to yourself. It's because you don't like it too easy. Right. Yeah. So, for the next five minutes, if you would like, you could just drop out of initiative. Yeah. 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 I'm, yeah. I'm sorry I'm to dead, re so. read the fan fiction in earnest. It's not bad. <laughs> Bye, sent me. She's expecting you back soon. I'm, I'm prepared to leave. Are don't you? we need, don't I we need say the true name? Uncle I've got Jim? the book. And I, I cast Cure Wounds because it's very confusing to me that you're not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle, Uncle Jim? Mm -hmm. And you come yeah, to in your dad's him. arms. <laughs> and I, I look at Jim, hey, hey man, so about that. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Did it, did it work? Yeah, yeah totally. We, we, we won. We won. Sweet. All right. You heal Dad? <laughs> You heal eight. I heal eight. Mm -hmm. That that puts me at zero. Do you hug your dad? <laughs> no, you. No, no, no. Oh no, that zero. puts me at like two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You go. You go. Yeah. You, you go, go from positive. zero. Okay. Yeah, you go yeah. From yeah. Zero to yeah. eight. This, I it. mean, listen. Yeah. There have been versions where there was such yes. a thing. Yes. Yes. That's there not. Are, that's there not where no we live. Negative hit points. Yeah. All right. Um. Yeah. Dad, I had I had an accident. <laughs> 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 I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm glad we didn't have to hear what it would sound like when doves cry. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He's just dropping banger after banger. It's just, too good. Just it's too good. Flinging, <laughs> flinging the bangers. And you, you motherfucker. <laughs> you get on Azzy's bad side, you're going to get the business end of his ruby rod. <laughs> and I don't think you have a big enough asshole. <laughs> <laughs> My, my, my first instinct is to like challenge, and I say, you don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> and then I realize that that is not helpful. <laughs> and I feel fully chastised and a little, and a little afraid. So, so they said, Savan says, we're supposed to look this is just a cipher. We're supposed to look then for the book concealed by the sign of the commentator on Asmodeus. Well, it oh. says, it says our, that we need to, it's, it's the six vices. I think it's, I think it's this. That's what we need to figure out, the six vices. But it, it yeah, it, I, no, no, no. I, we six, gotta find the scissor. I understand that I, I see that Omen's raising his hand. Do you wanna come look at the book? Yeah, no, I understand that I don't have a reputation for in intelligence broadly. Um, but I, I look out at all these, at all the uh, 
symbols on each of these bricks. Hell yeah. In here, and I wonder if <gasps> that's the encoded portion. Yes! Are there a pair of fate-snipping shears <laughs> here somewhere on the ground? And I get down on all fours and start to crawl around. Or the vices. No, I think it's the scissors. All right. <laughs> I look for the teddy bear. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And see if there's another teddy bear. Hey, everybody find a symbol they like. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I just feel like certain I, I, ghosts I might not have shown the scissors. Us the teddy bear. I think the scissors is the right the right way. I think that that might be it. If not, I I also look for the vices. If what if you know, past greed, me money. left current me like a million dollars and That's I miss it because I don't look for the teddy bear? Isn't your dad rich? Not this yeah. version. He's fucking poor. Yeah. So you don't. I love wish him? Morden Kanan would adopt me. What? Whoa. He's already got a kid. What happened to this? Is my dad? I yeah. Love you. <laughs> I love he you. He went to hell to get your rock. I know, I know. You were so proud before I'm he kidding. showed up. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm getting kidding. whiplash. Listen, I don't want you to adopt me, here. but I no, do no, want no. a letter so. of recommendation because you don't know how hard it is in my reality. Anyways, I'll talk to you later. Freshly what? graduated, trying to negotiate a decent salary, even when you're the heiress of Act Inc., it is very difficult. So if you just want to like write me something, like, I, uh, what, what? This What's the stop trying to get a wreck feet. from him? We here. need to solve this puzzle. Here. Here. So, but I think that Savan, I think that uh, Savan is really, is trying to help us a little bit, and he we is. should let him do it. <laughs> I guess. Savan, do you think it's the shears or do you think it's the, the vices? Again, what they said is it's whatever the sign of the commentator is. The commentator is Kim. That's the shears. Yeah, yeah. It's shears. shears. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. All right. All right. We're looking for the shears. Right. So let's go hog wild. We're looking at yeah. it's like a scissor. And there's six of us. Yeah. So we can Yeah, so every, we can everybody's spread down. I'm looking for shears. So as you fan out Also, I'm taking this book. No one's touching this book. It's And the now. devil's just still burning in there? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so every every six seconds, uh, as it takes three D six steps. So again, it lasts for it's taking five for five minutes, but every six seconds in those five minutes, it takes 3d6 fire damage. So we're just like, where are the shears? It's like, ah! At some point, do we just hear it die? It just screams so, out. So it's 150 d6. You, what you keep hearing math. is, I never knew how much fire would feel so good. All right. Oh. And there's just less of it every six seconds. Yes, and it just gets quieter and quieter <laughs> as it up. says it. And then it just goes, <laughs> and what, it's gone. What a nice death for a devil, honestly. That's beautiful. He died doing what he loves. Right. <laughs> Burning alive. And boiling shit. shit. And boiling shit. <laughs> Something's we should all be so paladin, lucky. It's you know? beautiful. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. That's all you can hope for, a good death. Yep. Are exactly. you sure you worship Lathander? <laughs> yeah. All right. So, but I'm, I'm on scissor patrol. You know what I'm saying? So, as you all fan out and look, and you see just this dizzying array of symbols on the flagstones, uh, Certainty, you were saying, though, you're going to the teddy bear, right? Yeah, I'm going to look for the teddy bear. Uh, so, the teddy bear is right here. And since you know what you're looking for, you get to it before anyone finds the scissors. And as you look down, you see that this stone looks loose. Yes, I lift it. I love one. a loose stone. Yes. Treasure. I lift this loose stone. Yes. Underneath, there is a teddy bear. <gasps> oh, yes. And it looks just like the teddy bear that was given to you by, in the, by the dungeon master <gasps> in the Feywild. We're going on. It's the real shit. You gotta grab it and pick it up. Is it, is it magical like the other one? I do have the identify spell. You do have it? Yeah. All right. So uh, as you begin casting it, uh, as the rest of you are searching, Strix, you are the first to come across stones on the opposite side <gasps> And there is indeed carved into the stone scissors. And this stone also looks loose. Yes. I, I, I grabby hands it. You can grab it. 
I hope Asmodeus' true name is Jeremy. And inside, as you lift up this stone, you see that underneath there is another book. <gasps> and this one has this pink cover. <sighs> and there is a plate of cookies uh, illustrated delightfully on it. And the, the title, written in a glorious script, is Grandmother Killian's Cosmic Cookie Cookbook. <gasps> I'm in love with this book. And you see that it is the same name of one of the fates yes. who commented in the other book. And as you open it up, you see that inside it is indeed a cookbook. Yes. And there are exactly 32 recipes. None of them have anything that identifies them with a devil or anything else. Is there a common ingredient? Ooh, nice. Smooth. Yeah. Uh, go she ahead and give me an intelligence <laughs> investigation check as you start paging through the cookbook. Uh, also, I found it, you guys. <laughs> Oh, no, that's not good. Uh, I'm not that smart, you guys. Uh, that's only uh, uh, four. As you go I really want some cookies. <laughs> as you go through, you, and this is saying something, because you are a member of the cult of Vecna, which is all about ciphers and secrets and hiding things sometimes in plain sight. I'm bad at that, though. You. All you, as you go through, you're just, it looks simply like a delightful cookbook where all 32 recipes are for different types of cookies. All right, I'm gonna, maybe, maybe I'm gonna have to ask everyone. I'm gonna have to ask. I bring the book down and I'm just like, hello, hello everyone, group <laughs> huddle, hello. We found a cookbook and uh, We have an open flame. No, 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 <laughs> the shithole. The super poopy one. Which is still burning. Of yeah. course, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Instead, I go to Morden Kynan. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. I I've, bring act I've actually been quietly casting a spell. Oh, do I interrupt you? Yes, I'm having a conversation with somebody not around here. Oh, who is it? Oh. Are they a friend? Weird. It's rude. Yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I, just I was trying not to be you. quiet. Yeah, he's on a call, like while we're all. What are you on Zoom? Yeah. <laughs> just, just a minute. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, it's all right. I just. Can you? Uh, there's a bunch of cookie recipes. One might have to do with the devil. I just. It, it's too complicated. You can stay on the phone. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. He's got to take this. I don't know what they're doing, but they're looking at a cookbook with cookies. Here, I. I, yes, I, I, I know. I, it makes no sense to me either. I, I try to get Strix's attention, and I just like point toward. They're they're, tea, like. they're cosmic cookies. Oh, right? <laughs> that's fine. Uh, yes, you you seem you seem excellent with papers, um, things like that. Would you like paper. to check sure. out this yeah, uh, okay. this cookbook? I cast and I, um, but I'm gonna have to ask for a peek at that other book before I do that. Fine. <laughs> I, I honestly don't want this book. This one, you can keep this one with the... Okay. <laughs> <sighs> These teenagers. Is, hey, hey, is he in the book? No. No, it's, it's, I think it's just Infernal. It's just devil. Yes, yeah, so I'll try don't to get them there as soon as possible. <laughs> I love you too, my Iron Angel. Oh. We know who that is. Dad. Damn, you can get him. Yeah. Okay, what about this identifier spell? Can you look at the book? Yeah. yeah. So, the teddy bear is magical. It does. And it has an aura of abjuration on it. So, protective magic. Uh-huh. Intrigue. But that, and you also sense uh, that if you say, help me become, that the teddy bear will then answer exactly one question that you pose to it. Whoa. Uh-oh. So we want to keep this. 
we want to here you have to solve this like with your own brain that I have invested in like dad, significantly dad, dad. like dad. it's not free I don't know if you heard college dad. isn't free just because you pay for something <laughs> doesn't mean it's free dad. Dad. yeah I don't know How can I help? if you're a good person or a bad person mm -hmm. I just know that you were the person you needed to be to be the best dad you could be to me I, I certainly tried. I can't say that I succeeded every time. Bo didn't have that. And if there's a way we can ask this teddy bear right. for a way right. for Bo to have that, right. I think that's more important than knowing Asmodee is his name. Because if Bobby has taught me anything, it's that having an older brother is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> really? ah, that's a lot. Does she say this out loud for everyone to hear? Yeah, I'm wondering. Yeah, I yeah. think everybody can hear yeah, it. Yeah, but it's like, you know, I'm just like huddling with them a little bit. That's so sweet, but also we really need to know Asmodeus' name. <laughs> all right, all right. Let me look at this, let me look at this cookie book. You okay? look at the cookie book. Let me look book. at this cookie book. I can't believe I couldn't figure out the cookie book. So there's, yeah. okay, and I'm looking at the smut book and I'm looking at it a little too carefully. Well, it says there's six ingredients that are baked to perfect, for perfection. So you, focus, focus. So you go back, you go back to Little Nick's Infernal Tastings. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when you look at the vices that, that Strix was talking about, mm -hmm. this is again what it says. To unlock the secret of Asmodeus, Know that he is a delicious sum of ingredients, aspects of all nine hells, and fully cooked forms of six vices. What is recipe number 15, Mr. Crawford? Recipe 15 is the recipe for red velvet <gasps> cookies. Oh, that could be the devil. Those are so good. <clears throat> We should and, make those anyway. And you see, <laughs> you yeah. see certainty as you look at the recipe for red velvet cookies mm -hmm. that it's like just a mundane recipe. But you get to the very bottom, and the final paragraph reads as follows. For an especially delectable result, mix in a devilish remain Circle the oven nine times. <laughs> I love that. And give to it memories of six especially appropriate vices. Once consumed, the cookie will give the vision delicious. We have an oven. Yeah. With devilish remains in it already. Dude, that, oh, listen, we're halfway there, there motherfuckers. It's preheated. <laughs> <laughs> Does someone have to eat the cookies, though? Because yes. it's not... I think you have to eat the cookie to get the knowledge, is what it sounds like. We have to yeah. walk around the it. oven yeah. walk nine around times. The mulberry bush. And we have to give it memories of, of the vices. The vices. Six vices. So, I feel like... Oh, maybe it's the stone. I feel like it's asking us to confess. I think that we, yeah, I think that we have to put these ingredients in. Mm -hmm. We have the demonic remains, we have the oven quote-unquote, we know that it's not OSHA approved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? But do we have to feed these remains, these vices, and again, not sloth. Well, those are devil remains. Does it matter if they're demons or devil remains? What is this? The... Mix devil. in a devilish okay. Oh, so we do have devil. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we did that. We did that. We're good. Been cooking, yeah. Okay. Now, so... above this paragraph, motherfucker, slow roast, it does Lay out, though, making the cookies yeah, that we, you will be adding this to. What are the ingredients? So we, we don't need? have cookie ingredients. I, shocking, I don't have them on me. Or does it just say you make the cookies and then you add these other ingredients? It says yeah. you bake the cookies and then add See, these ingredients. These are the additional okay. ones. I think we can make whatever type of cookie we want. And okay. then this essentially turns them into a spell. 
But they're, we, they're an edible, essentially. What are well, the these cookies specifically? You need the, these. I think it's you can't just make chocolate chip. It, yeah, I mean, there's ingredients for a reason. Use specifically, the ingredients to make red velvet yes. cookies. What are the ingredients? You just legit recipe and then add. So yeah. you know, you know that back in Vi's lab, that in addition to all of the amazing artificer contraptions that right. are there, and you've all been to the lab. Oh, yeah. Fact for those of you who've been watching the show, we were there in, a, in an earlier episode. He's been in the oven. There oh. is indeed a kitchen in back in her lab. I love baking. <laughs> <laughs> I love eating baked goods. I mean, we could just grab some devil remains. Are there any around? Maybe some dust. Some there is the yeah. barb devil that is barbecuing right now yeah. in the Slow sewage roasted. pit. I'm just gonna reach in and get a piece real quick. I he's admire. hanging out because he's leaning like. A Go ahead and give me a dexterity saving throw. I admire this greatly. As you reach into the flame. Isn't I feel there like he's one hanging out. that omen pulverized that's not in the fire? No, he 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 got disintegrated. He disintegrated. Oh. He became the brimstone. He stark them. Well, and in fact, this one has largely disintegrated, but. There is a little bit of brimstone. There's some nibbles. So what's throw? Oh, my inspiration. I'm so inspired <laughs> to make sure this works. Nice. Is it dex? Dex. 13. Ooh. That's easy enough. This was not a hard one. Okay. So you, you <laughs> managed to <laughs> scoop up <laughs> some of the brimstone remains of that barb devil. Guys, I got a little bit. I don't think there's any poop in this part. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> right. That's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. I, I, I think we're ready to go to the uh, kitchen. Dad, room. can you take it, my, me and my friends back to Vi's house? <laughs> <laughs> we need a ride. Yes, I can teleport you all back. No problem. Are you sure you have everything? Yes, Dad. <laughs> no, I... That I, question. Oh, I don't know. Actually. That question makes yeah. me think Are there that. any other ingredients on this list from this like recipe that I'm like, we probably should maybe try to grab those here? All of the other ingredients are just mundane cooking okay. ingredients. Did you want to check for any other fanfic before we go? Mm -hmm. Were there any other books upstairs when you were reading? There are lots of books. Take a look while my dad's up. I didn't have a lot of time to check because uh, things were on fire. Do I will I say to Savon, though, I'll say, you know, go... Tell the cult that I might be back soon, but I'm going to follow the quest through. Right. And I'm, I'm going to push the teddy bear in your hands before I go. Absolutely. So well, you gave up your tears for one. I gave up mine for one. All right, absolutely. Do the right Deal. thing. Deal. Do the right thing. That's what I always do. I know. Thank you, <laughs> thank, thank you for making sure they didn't kill me. Oh, that wasn't me. That was Evelyn. I didn't care if you died or not. <laughs> <laughs> Hail Vecna. Have you heard the good word of Lathander? Don't listen to her. It seems like you need to be reborn into the light of a new dawn. He might. Please make a charisma persuasion. No! <laughs> Question. Has it been 10 minutes since I last persuaded someone? Yes. Yeah. Darn. Well, that's okay, I rolled a 19. Uh, so that's gonna be a 24. <laughs> Dude, I you're hate putting, this. You are putting up fucking numbers. <laughs> Fill in the pews, yeah. Okay, see, you don't know, no, that's it, no. When I'm people see the light in me, <laughs> no, no, you're persuading. That's it. I'm counter persuading and I'm saying, you know, Lord Beckness pretty powerful and says, you know. Yeah, roll against my 24, hard uh, comrade. Yeah, you know what, whatever, fine. That's not high enough. You have inspiration. <laughs> you have inspiration. I already used it. Oh, I, used it. I know, it's okay. That's Sav all right, it's fine. Savon looking at you and then looking up at the sky and all of this time, uh, it's been a pretty cloudy day. <laughs> but the clouds suddenly part. You know, during the keynote, Matt Mercer said, you never know the impact your joy might have on someone else's life. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it makes me upset. <laughs> he, Savon, takes the front of his Vecna cultist robe, uh. where a Asmodeus symbol had been roughly stitched onto the front, 
and he just tears the robe off. And underneath it, he just has sort of this, like, cute musician outfit. Aww. Wow. I think I'm going to go back to my first love. I'm going to become a pop star. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're a bard? You rock on. Uh, you rock on in the light of a new dawn. Follow your dreams. We can't wait to hear your music. I mean, the market's tough out there, bro. I'm a bard. I don't... Oh, no, no, no. We're, um, I'm sure it'll work out for you. My dad's going to be pissed at me. Can I... Can I... <laughs> Technically, it takes an hour. But in the past, you've maybe thought that since Evelyn's such a, like accomplished paladin, maybe it doesn't take that long. But could Evelyn perform a dedication rite to touch one humanoid who wishes to be dedicated to your god's service so for the next 24 hours, whenever the target makes a saving throw, it can roll a d4 and add the number rolled to the save so that his music career can really have a boost to take off? The sun did just come out. <laughs> the sun did just come out. It did. Yeah. Are the rest of you willing to wait around no. for wow. that ceremony? I don't think so. No. no, no. They're like dragging me. I'm like, may the light of the sun shine upon it. <laughs> I'll come look for you. Okay. Don't. And, and with a spring in his step, he leaves this ruined place and goes down the street. Beginning, you can hear him singing a song about the sun. Is he any good? He, he's really good. He's not bad. Okay. Nice. Okay. It's gonna be okay. He sings a song. Well, okay. the cult's not gonna care if I'm dead anyway, so. As soon as he hits the cobble, a cart just. <laughs> <laughs> so but you know you... what? He'll be going to the right place now. <laughs> as you fantasize about Savon being killed, <laughs> <laughs> broken, you return to Vi's lab. Some things never change. <laughs> It's like AC-10, always will be, always was, the worst AC in the game. <laughs> it's not first edition. Why is your sound so eldritch? Yeah. Well, <laughs> just, just, how does it, how does it feel? Telekinesis. <laughs> How does it feel to convert everyone? Mm, I'm not converting. I'm sharing. Dang. Dang. Yeah. This is this has been a holy game. No. <laughs> I. Vecna. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that was as scary for you as it was for me. Strix, do you want to hear about the new dawn? No. I'll never want to hear about the new dawn. Oh, wow. What about about butt-hander? Uh, yeah, I do want to hear about butt-hander. <laughs> <laughs> have to say your power. Okay. And so you find yourselves now, after Morden Kanan's magic teleports you, back into the inner depths of Vi's laboratory. And in the time that you were in the strange dungeon, and also in the weeks since you've been studying the impossibility, Vi has discovered how to contain the black obelisk in this large device over here. A device you recall when you were here before was toppled and very dangerous. Yes, that was, I, it was quite dangerous indeed, as I recall. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as you appear, uh, Vi comes into the room Oh, honeys. We were very worried about you. I am very glad you were able to get there in time. Why, of course. Anything for you, sweetheart. Aww. Chris. Ew. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh! <gasps> oh! <laughs> sweetheart. Oh my god, dude, his face changed. Oh, uh, uh, Morton Kane and I, we've known each other for a long time. Oh, yeah, I bet, yeah. Good <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but I need, to, I need to hang out with Morton Kane a little bit. I need to learn a little bit about him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We got some things to do, but we'll, 
We're going to talk later. <laughs> <laughs> he, has, he has some crazy stories he can tell you. Mm. I'd love to hear him. <laughs> so we're going to make some cookies. Yes. yes. We, we should, should make bake. Some, yeah. Yeah. I think it's cookie bake. time. Yeah, let's guys. eat, guys. Also, <laughs> hi, bye. Good to see you again. Bye. It's been a while, I guess. Oh, wait, I don't know you. That's other strikes. Just kidding. <laughs> Who are you? Well I, uh, well, I know you, honey. Oh. Well, at least I knew another you. <laughs> oh, no, that's a different me. Thank you. It gets very confusing. You only get it one. Does. All of us being from different <laughs> worlds. Oh, by the way. Yes. While you were off in that, that temple, I actually managed to get my Cosmohopper prototype here in this lab partially working again. This is marvelous news. Wow. Now all we have to do is discover the true name of the devil. Oh yeah, I need to make some cookies. Can I borrow your oven? Well, of course, honey, it's right here. And you can see, indeed, right here is stove, Perfect. oven, uh, and Vi being the amazing artificer that she is, there is, uh, Refrigeration here. We got a full larder situation. Oh. Yes. And she says, Oh, also this morning, I had a little bit of free time. I was able to cook up this fridge for you, sweetheart. It just auto generates cheese. That's <sighs> my girl. That's you know my what? girl. It happened Bye. fast. Bye. See, now you're back on. Now you're back on. You know what I mean? I, I gotta be honest, Vi. I gotta be honest, Vi. Today, your boy's been off. Your boy's been off a little bit. So this is exactly what I need. That's why I love you, Vi. <gasps> oh! That's why I love Vi. What? <laughs> wow. This I can see why you like him. He really Dang. is a sweet. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. That's the wrong, man. That's the wrong four-letter word. <laughs> He is an amazing one. There we go. I'll take that one. Though. Yeah, yeah. All right. I say, I, I clap my hands. I'm like, oh, ho, ho, uh, cookies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that you had such a difficult time. I have something I'd like to give you, and I will take off my belt. <gasps> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, no, if he's giving away magic I items, like, you're going to pull out my morning stars. <laughs> And you can see that there is a hill giant's Fuck. visage worked into it. Whoa. And I will hand this belt off to you and say, this was a gift from an old friend of mine. Uh, and I don't want a name drop. <laughs> but this is a belt of hill giant strength. And I think it would fit you just fine. Holy shit. I check myself. Always good. It's also a championship belt. <laughs> <laughs> one, one by a very powerful warrior in the Seoul Imperium fighting pits. And by the way, by the way, yes, red velvet cookies illegal in the Seoul Imperium. <laughs> so, I put the Morning Star away. I will hand you the belt. I take it from you with two hands, I put it on my waist. Then I pick you up off the floor in a big bear hug. I was wrong about you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that's like, that, I, that item is, that's goals. That's like what any is it, what is it class do? goals. It's the, it's what you would spend your career looking for. Yeah. Wow. You, have, you now have a strength of, as soon as you attune to it, you have a strength of 21. Wow. What? Yeah. 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 Moly. It's, it's Are you pretty hot. giving away any other magic items? Yeah. I just, <laughs> what else you got in there, Dad? Yeah, huh? I got in there. yeah, what you got in there? Well, I think my work here is done. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> well, you, honey, you might want to wait just a little while longer. Because my friends and this sweet fella right over here, they've had a tough day, and we need to. It sounds like bake some cookies. Yes. That's I, one of the things. Does, I need help. Cookies. I need no, help from everyone. To no, make dude, these this cookies. is this is we're ready for this montage, dude. Like yes. mm -hmm. we've got you. I am ready to be the dude going like yes. this. Yes, there's like, like flour this. on our faces. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yes. no, I, we get to that flower fight, it's like oh. I give everyone <laughs> I give everyone a skill appropriate job. Mm -hmm. I don't do mine. Cookies. I make my unseen servant do it. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, and I sit and I play with my pet rock instead. <laughs> 
Jim's yeah. rolling out dough. I, I, I'm like, have you ever considered therapy for her? <laughs> <laughs> this is all the therapy I need. <laughs> all right. All right. I got the cookie cutter helping Jim, tiny little circles. Can't. Help me a lot. Yeah. I'm medicated thriving. I make a little <laughs> sun shake one. Uh -oh. Guys, how many cookies we want? Oh, all right. uh, as many as we can make. I need you all. This is going to be a group check oh. as, as we have all right. the red velvet cookie baking montage. <laughs> yes. Uh, Vi's amazing larder has all the ingredients you need. Uh, so I need the six of you to make a group intelligence investigation check. Because this is involved, you have to study this recipe right. You've got to make sure you're cooking things the correct amount of time. <laughs> Can we all get a bardic inspiration? Because there's you, music playing you, for the montage. I only have one left. There is music for the there's montage. There's music for the montage. Yeah, I mean, I so for a group yeah, check, yeah, you're, you're really just looking to have more successes than failures okay. as you work together. 18. <gasps> right. Yeah. That's a 19 plus a 5. That's a 24. <gasps> I got a nat 20. Jeez. These are some fucking good cookies. She knows how to yeah. bake. I'm still good at baking. Yeah, no, she stays baking. She was in like, oh. every universe, Strix is good at baking. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Now, do I, can I use Bardic Inspiration after a roll, or do yes. I? Yes. So, let's start it out. Let's get it started. Uh, that's a 16. All right, that's we already have uh, more yep. successes. You don't than... even need to talk about my roll. 15. <laughs> you what can was, stay quiet. Yeah, what was your roll? It was a five. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to help him. Aww. Aww. He like comes up behind I you and holds your hands. I rolled a 35. Bobby was so excited they were cool. Now he's just massively insecure. <laughs> I thought my 24 was good. <laughs> I've got flour all over my face. I see him. He's just delicately playing. What is this? Together. Like freaking ghost? Is he like behind? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. yeah, but it's Morty, dude. Like, <laughs> I'm minding my business. I'm reading my fanfic. I don't want any. Part I don't of need this. to read anything. I'm just watching this. <laughs> 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 These cookies are infused with love. All right. You They're have made something. now possibly the best yeah. red velvet cookies that have ever been made. Yeah, we have. But now remains the last part. You must mix in the devilish remains. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sprinkle. Circle the oven nine times and give to it memories of the six vices that were mentioned. What All were right, the now, vices? Sloth right. is out. And right. so, Sloth is out. I yeah. need you and to decide, and you are going to be giving up a memory yes. related Aww. to the vice. Pride, greed. So, uh, wrath. who's going to, so they are pride, greed, wrath, envy, lust, and gluttony. Who's going for pride? <sighs> Bobby, you were about to say something? No, no, I was skipping pride. Oh, okay. Gluttony. Uh, Jim will do pride. Uh, I have a very strong memory, my first night where I was headlining Jim, Dark Magic, and Lights, the crowd going wild. It felt amazing. And that memory is now gone. <gasps> oh, shit. Will you give it up? It's yeah. gone. And there is a, as you, as the group is circling nine times around, there, there is this sort of breeze that blows through the room. And you all, for a moment, share that memory. I always feel it. We yeah. feel that. You all feel it, and then you all forget it oh. together. Oh. I hate this. I, I'll step up and be like, everyone said my dad was a really, really good person and meant a lot to a lot of people. And sometimes when I see certainty and omen, I wish that I ever got to see my dad oh, be a good person to me. Envy? Dang, I wasn't thinking. That's and I gruesome. wish that my dad could have been on adventures with me, oh, but he was too busy working for Lathander too. Gruesome. It's true, my dad is the shit. <laughs> yeah. So I'll do envy. That was ballin'. 
and all of you feel that pain. Well, and then as, as, we're, as we're continuing around in this little, this strange procession, I'm just going to put my arm around Evelyn. Just for a little while. Like, just for a little while. I'm not, not so long that it's weird. Like, one rotation. <laughs> and then it's the hover hand. <laughs> I'll awkwardly, like, pat the hover hand. <laughs> yeah. This only makes me touch you, which I, I react like touching a stove. Like, ah. yeah. <laughs> We still have greed, wrath, lust, and gluttony. I think this is hard because, but I think certainty wants to forget it because certainty knows it's not her dad. I think oh, yeah. certainty is utterly wrathful that a version of her dad gave up her brother. Mm. Yeah. Not even the and real one. She would wish he would be damned to hell instead because how could he do that to little Bodhi? And at this, you not only all feel certainty's wrath, but you all also are reminded of Bode and oh. of, of the love that was shared between him and the two of them ever so briefly before he disappeared. But then that wrath is forgotten. But Bode is not. Good. Oh. Good. Good stuff. As that uh, wave goes through all of us, I remember a time when travelers came and stopped at the World Tree, and they were so happy. It was a full family, and it was the first time that I had ever seen a family like this, where they all, where they all genuinely loved each other. Father, son, mother, daughter. And they would always, while they were there, have <laughs> these huge dinners, and everyone was so happy, and they were always eating cheese. <laughs> like every meal, <laughs> they're setting it out. They had provolone, mm. yeah. <laughs> smoked gouda. They had mozzarella. Mm. Monster, but a good table cheese. A party. Yeah. One thing that I've always wanted is a love like that with other people. And that's why I left the World Tree, to be with this group of people. Oh. Mm. But that feeling that I can't find exactly is why I constantly stuff my face with cheese. Mm. <laughs> oh, no! Dang. I, sh I stress. You're always trying to get it. <laughs> you're, tr always, you're eating your feelings? No. Constantly. This is so sad. <laughs> and so, geez. Geez. so and then, no. but this is happening, and then we're like, we're, they were at the part of the circuit where we're like looking over at the cheese fridge. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. So when I, uh, when there is that memory of Bode and the the wrath that obviously is is applied toward a version of me that. I've never met, and I've, I've certainly tried not to do that. I have tried to have the best possible relationship I can, which is why I've made such significant investments. <laughs> um, but as that, but Bode isn't forgotten, and this other memory, this there is another omen, and another union with a demonic woman. Oh. And it changes the energy in the place. <laughs> Yowza! Mm. The, the tail is sharp. And it's okay. <laughs> and then I just, I cough at the end of the movie <laughs> and I say, sorry. Uh, as, as that goes through us, I look to Omen. Didn't need to know that! I look to Omen. Don't want to know, don't want to know And I just that. say, Damn! <laughs> All right. I didn't know you had it like that. Oh, yeah, your boy can get it. Let's. I don't need to. Let's finish. This is a ritual from fucking hell. No, 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 no. And I say, 
I didn't need to share that memory. Certainty. Mm -hmm. This is what you're going to learn. You're going to you're going to meet someone. You're going to learn that sex. Is when natural. do we forget it? When do we forget it? <laughs> you Please have, tell me I forget this no. for fucking so ever. Is that you, lust? You is have that now like... all forgotten. Thank uh, fucking God. Is that lust? But, oh, I forgot. Thank you, Tamara. But the sex stays. <laughs> <laughs> I need these dice or I would fucking I, throw them at you. Yeah. <laughs> so there is only one left, and that is greed. It's greed. I tried to take we lust. We all stare at you. I tried to take <laughs> lust off the table for you, Strix. It's all right. I, you know, I was going to admit to really liking the fan fiction book, but it's fine. Uh, <laughs> I just, you know. Now you're safe. It's all right. No, Strix thinks about it, this Strix, and she thinks about finding out that her father was Vecna and that he's so powerful and that she just... She wants that power. She wants to take she it. She wants the power of a god? And she wants the power of the god. A god of Vecna and wants it because she didn't have a family or a father or anyone and she didn't know Evelyn. So she had no influence of good in her life. And so she's just a vessel for greed and for power. Mm -hmm. And so she thinks about being told that her father is Vecna and she wants to forget that. Whoa. That is fucking kick-ass. How could that possibly be the last one? <laughs> and so you all see for a moment it is in fact true and appropriate for the Lord of Secrets. You all know the secret that Strix is the daughter of a god. And then all of you, including Strix, Forget it. Sick. <laughs> After I finish writing all this down, I close my spell book. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, you got the notes. Uh-oh. What happened? Ah, skeleton hand. <laughs> Well, honey, I think, I think we're supposed to eat now. Yep. I'm glad we didn't cook these in the flaming poo. Yeah. Yeah. It ended up turning out okay. But honestly, <laughs> we're all adults. We put worse in our mouth for less. Happy? Okay. What are you talking about? I've already eaten two it's cookies. It's world stuff. Oh, no. You, you, you're stuffing your face. Oh, yeah. Gluttony yeah, Jim's mine. eating cookies. Do you all eat? Oh, it's yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. I have a class Does Morgan of Morgan Cain eat one? <laughs> we got to spread this knowledge out. Did I mention these are illegal? <laughs> in the I, t I tentatively take we won't a bite. Tell. Give to Lathander what is Lathander's. Yeah. And so, as you each eat, you hear in your, vo in your minds the voice of Asmodeus. Oh, no. Fuck. <laughs> but it is a softer voice voice. <gasps> Did we redeem and him? the voice says simply, look. And as you taste these cookies infused with the magic of the ritual and what you have given of yourselves to it, you see him, the dashing devil who appeared in the, the Book of Tasties, but, but no horns. <gasps> really? And with two glorious wings sprouting from his back. And he is standing, not with a ruby rod, but with a staff with at the top of it the symbol of the sun. <gasps> and he is standing <gasps> yeah. beside the throne seated upon which is death itself. And on one side is Asmodeus with the staff of the sun, the glimmering morning star. And on the other side of the throne, there is a hooded figure. And you can see that she has a great book and she is whispering something to death. And before them, there is this scowling 
monarch. You can tell that he is one because of the resplendent crown on his head. And after death, hears the whispering of she who bears the tone. Death, with this raspy voice, says to the tyrant, you made thousands miserable. Your life was a blight. And so you will return. You will become a child in a place of great poverty, and you will know what it is to be downtrodden. And it is our hope that you will take that and learn how to bring goodness to others, to feel the pain and then when you come stand before the triad again, we will, seeing that you learn how to bring goodness to others, we will allow you into the fields of bliss. But for now, be gone. And at this, Asmodeus, who has been silent, points his staff of the light at the tyrant and says, may your iniquity be burned away in the light. And as the staff glimmers, it beams upon the tyrant who just burns away as his soul returns to life. And you hear in your minds Asmodeus say, I once stood for true order. I once stood for real justice. For it is not just to condemn the finite to infinite torment. What have I become? <laughs> My well, true name is Justice. And that is where we will end. Yes! Yes! Roll for surprise. Wow. Jairus Crockins. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, for coming tonight. We will continue the story next time to find out, now that they know the name, can they draw out that other version of <sighs> So good. Now, is it, would it be possible for me to take the stage for a moment? Yes. Hello. <gasps> My name is Jerry Holkins. Wow. You might know me by another name. Word to sag after. But I strike when I write. Like an asp, bruh. <laughs> the only man that I might ever let seduce me is a seven-foot-tall meat wall. Zimaruski. <laughs> Honestly, it's gotta be Bobby Z, probably Puffin Broccoli. It don't bother me, mad green like you won the lottery. Smoke the world tree, he's got pot like pottery. Famous rod like Sterling. Sterling performance, let's talk dick. It's like a Slim Jim if a Slim Jim was thick. <laughs> Cut the cheese, nah, he better. He severs the chevron. <laughs> Heroic endeavor, got his fucking hand on the lever. These foes is done, get in the hole. I think you know my son, critical role. <laughs> oh, shit! Oh, shit! I'm here to win it. And every day has been better since I've had him in it.
Thank you so much. <laughs> now, two things, two things. One, if uh, you are interested in drinking beer, you should drink beer with our friends at Voodoo Ranger. They're right here on the second floor. I've been there myself. It's okay. I emerged more or less intact. Second, thank you so much to Foam Brain. I think that if anybody rolled as many ones as me, it would be difficult to get the dice deal. <laughs> but somehow they've managed to tolerate it. Our incredible new minis from Eldritch Foundry. Thank you so much to them. Great paint jobs as well. Dwarven Forge gave us all of this cool stuff here, and it's amazing. Now, if you can tolerate one more request, because this is the very last episode of season two, would it be possible for us on stage to be here and take a picture with you back here? <laughs> now, if you would like to stand and be counted, please do so at this time. Mr. Dave. No. Stay over here. Oh, we stay here. We stay here. Okay. I'm gonna have to first stand right here. I just gotta pick up my stick. Yes, we take one step this way. Oh, this way. Right here. How are you? I'm gonna have to switch places. Oh yeah. Switch places. Now we got it. Thank you. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> All right, we're good. Thanks. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>